everything by the numbers. Now, live from the XCOM Asia base, here's Beagle. I mean, they have one job. They have one job. All they have to do is, all they have to do is, they have to switch. That literally the only thing they have to do is, you, did you played it again? The only thing they have to do is just switch the scene when the music stops. I mean, I know they're just dogs and cats, but they have one job. And all they have to do is just switch the scene and not play the voice line twice. If you do that again next week, you're fired. I'm getting a new pet. I'm gonna get one that's smart enough to do the camera switching. Maybe a bird? I don't know about it. I'm sorry. I apologize. Because I'm doing what I gotta do here. I'm doing what I gotta do. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to another week of the- Is this on right now? Is this- I don't believe that we're back yet. It doesn't feel right. I don't feel like we're back. Is this on? Welcome to another week of Thursday Night XCOM, I think? I can't tell. I mean, it still says season launch! What are you doing? No, you're not a good dog. What am I supposed to do all this on myself? I don't know what to do. Look, we gotta go into the show regardless. Alright, welcome to another week of Thursday Night XCOM. Apparently, I'm coming in live. People are subscribing. We'll get to them. People are donating. We'll get to them as well. What are we doing this week? I got my sleeves rolled up. Because we're going to dive back into Long War 1.0. Last week, we launched... I mean, you can see it. Right up there. We just launched the season. The new season of TNX. There's an XCOM Long War 1.0. We played like maybe three or four missions. Uh, I don't know how many. We played a few. We took it a little bit slow. We did fan art. We did. We did. Uh, we did donations, and stuff. You know, we're getting used to the production value here. The camera crew. Is, what are you looking at me like that for? You think you can just? No. Oh. You think you can just make up for it just by being cute? Oh. There's a bad director. You got to get better. It's not your fault. Oh. You're just a little fluffy director, aren't you? Alright, say bye to the people. Because we gotta kill aliens. Oh, You're a fat little director. Look, we, we got- I'm sorry, we got a lot going on in here right now. We're, we're going as we go. But... I mean, what the hell was I saying? We, we played like three or four missions, we took it slow, we had fan out back, we had donations to take care of, subs. We had a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I can't really remember what we did last week. Luckily enough, I don't have to, because the analysts got to work on uh, on the on the show Everything last week. They started crunching the numbers on my plays, which is good because I don't do numbers. I don't like numbers. I never have. I never will like numbers. I don't trust them. Nothing but bad happens when you got to deal with numbers. The analysts have got into it. We're going to take a look at it today. Let me pull this up on the big screen. All right, camera one. Where are we at? Okay, we got a web desk capture right here, right now. Who the hell is this? Who is this guy? Don't, don't tell me. Because I've forgotten, but we're going to find out as we go. Hey guys, John Ribs here. Oh, that's who it is. Okay. Oh, now I know. Okay. Last Thursday saw the triumphant return of Beagle's Thursday Night XCOM with that's Beagle me. bursting back onto the scene with his usual aplomb. What the hell's going on here? Beagle locked in Iron Man. What the hell is going on here? This is me. Everything by the numbers. I think that's is that. Can we get it on the main screen? I think that's me. That's definitely me. Multiple other the optimal multiple other pods is. Oh no, I see. Warming up. I gotta start it again because if I press my if I press my camera oh, controls here, return of it skips. XCOM with 
Beagle bursting back onto the scene with his usual Now I understand. Bomb. What the hell's going on here? Alright. We're locked in Iron Man Impossible. Turn the music down. And along with turning off the DLC missions and turning on strict screening to make his rookies all have the same stat points. Mm -hmm. He said that he's a little bit out of practice and it should be a lot of fun to see how the series evolves. You know, I was thinking about, like, actually warming up, preparing. I was. Practicing. Fuck that. Etc. And I just thought that's dishonest. Mm-hmm. Next up, it was time Fuck for people to choose a starting country and bonus. I'm just going to go straight to my old standby. We're going to go to China. It's the best. Go all the way around, go all the, way around the you'll damn never, world. You'll never find a bonus as good as you'll the You'll never find a better bonus than China. 100% bonus cash from Alien Corpse and Rex there. It's double. The Analogical Remedies is definitely a strong starting bonus. A hurdle with it, though, is that it's on Hold a... on. All right. Don't listen to a thing he says. There is zero hurdles with starting in China. None. Don't tell me about numbers because it's the best start. All right, now go on. Continent with four countries. Because your first two satellites... Hey, hey, wait, 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 say that again. Hurdle with it, though, is that it's on a continent with four countries. Because your first two satellite uplinks only give you access to three satellites, you can't get the continent bonus until later on in the game. Which is... All right, it's and that. the continent bonus itself, reduction of foundry project costs, is not very relevant until mid-game. All right, now let's get something straight here, join ribs. All right? I'm not going to call him join ribs because that feels weird. Like, is it join ribs? Like, is he a meal? Or something? Is he ribbed? I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna call him Steve, you know, like me and my mother, you know. We, we, we just call him and we see him on the TV. We say, look, it's Steve, you know. He's a close friend. As of last week, when I saw this video, I decided he was a friend of mine now. So we're just gonna call him Steve, it's a lot easier. So, what Steve here is saying... Let's go back, because I've forgotten. ...for countries. Because your first two satellite uplinks only give you access to three satellites, you can't get the continent bonus until later on in the game. Right, I remember that. And the continent bonus itself, reduction of foundry project costs, is not very relevant until mid-game. Now let's get something straight here. Alright, Steve, let's get something straight. That bonus is never relevant to me because I'm rich. When you're making about $5,000 a mission, when Jake Solomon... I mean, when Jake Solomon is sending you a $5,000 check for every mission you beat... Yes, even the scouts, even the little ones. It, it's never relevant. Discounts are never relevant. So it doesn't matter. Now go on, let, let, let's see what the rest of what you're saying is. If you're looking for a starting bonus, which is more relevant for the early game to help you... Again, it's relevant. ...to get over the hurdles at the beginning, you might want to consider starting in North America. These North Americans. They think they're the center of the world! With the Special Warfare School or Cadre in Canada, or perhaps in Egypt, for the free advanced repair project to get your interceptors going a little bit better. I ain't going to any of those places! Early in the game. The first mission of the campaign took place on the Van Dorn Council map with Beagle spawning at the back side of the map. Mm -hmm. From this position, it can be quite tough to get across the low ground and up the other side. But Beagle handled it masterfully, pulling a pod from across the chasm and letting it move into the low ground and be destroyed, and getting up the other side and taking care of the enemies there with liberal use of explosives. That sounds like me. All right, say goodbye to that dice. I mean, I mean, seriously, say goodbye to it forever. It's gone. I don't know where the hell it went. I found it. It's right here. Beagle squaddies weren't that big a deal here. They're only out for a week. They're only squaddies anyway, and it's March, so there isn't that much stuff to do. Right. On the other hand, using so many grenades prevented Beagle from being able to get enough sector corpses or weapon fragments to start research, which could come back to bite him. In eight I'm just giving the aliens a chance, all right? I'm just trying to give them a go here, because they're up against it. We've already won twice, all right? We've, we've won twice. I mean, I don't watch other sports other than XCOM. XCOM's the only sport I watched. If I watched other sports, they'd probably have a word for when you get beat three times in a row. Like a, like a foot trick or a, a duck or something. They'd be getting ducked. Now, these aliens, they don't want to get ducked, obviously. But, I mean, we, we've won twice already. We're two-time back-to-back. Saviors of Earth. It's not a big deal. I'm just trying to give him a chance this time, okay? It's not a big deal. April, when he should be getting laser weapons, he's going to find himself delayed by a few days. And that could... You don't know that. ...could mean one extra swarming abduction or something that he has to play without them. This is hearsay! ...a really tough mission. You may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. I don't. I, I don't, no. His starting builds were pretty normal. He went for two motion trackers, one satellite, and 69 sawn-off shotguns. That's right. They're normal. They're normal because I am XCOM. They're normal because I made them normal. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I am the best. Okay, let's get back to it. Because that's the sex number? He yeah, also that is why. two of his interceptors over to Stingray missiles, though, which I think is a slight mistake. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Did Steve just say what I thought he said? Use stingray missiles, though, which I think is a slight mistake. Excuse me? Slight mistake. Slight mistake. Slight mistake. Slight mistake. Slight mistake. Slight, 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 slight mistake. You big time now, is that right, Steve? You think you big time now and you can start telling me I'm making slight mistakes? You just made a slight mistake yourself. We were going to invite you to Sunday dinner. Now I don't know. You fight against three scouts in March, and avalanche missiles are better against scouts in general. Who the fuck knows this shit? Who has time for this? Look at this! Look at... Full screen it! Who has time for this? Who's got time to make this spreadsheet? How he... How he know that? How he know how many UFOs coming already? Is he a wizard? How does he know how many UFOs are coming to Earth? The aliens don't even know yet. You think the Ethereals planned this shit? They wake up on Monday, they say, let's send a UFO down to Earth today. I feel like it. They wake up on Tuesday, say, I don't feel like it today. Fuck it. How does he know? Is he the Ethereal? Is he planning his shit out? The only weakness of avalanche missiles against scouts is that they are high variants and they risk destroying the scout, but... I mean, I thought they were fighters in March. But neither of these things are real considerations in March. In March, you don't have a high enough strength air force to care about minimizing variants, and there's actually a setting flipped where it's impossible to destroy a UFO. What?! So, avalanches should be your go-to against the scouts of March, and going into April and May, you can think about stingrays on all of your interceptors as far as I'm concerned, because at that point, the overkills do matter, and you have to fight against stuff like fighters and eventually destroyers and stingrays. How do you know this shit? Launches against those UFOs. I don't remember how to do none of this. I'm just going to make decisions, and you're all going to deal with them. The next mission of the campaign was a heavy abduction on March 8th, which meant that we waited a full eight days before starting research. Okay, this is our team, I think. We got a uh, JL, two, three rooks, shotgunner, engineer, LMG laying down the suppression on the Overwatch insectoids, which we'll have to move up and fight with Sour Goat. We got the two shotguns for the close range drones. We got grenades for the drones, AP for the drones, HE for the cover. Uh huh. Motion trackers. Tell us about I it. I think we're looking good. Let's launch this mission. Do it. This mission took place on Street Hurricane, a somewhat long and very narrow map known for its sparse cover and awkward lines of sight. Later on in the game, especially on terror missions, this can be a real nightmare for XCOM because of the relatively small map size and the lack of options for flying. It's difficult. But at this point in the campaign, Beagle is able to slowly and deliberately maneuver up the map, letting the sectoids flank themselves and making the architecture of the map work in his favor. Mm -hmm. That ended up being a fairly easy and convincing win. The mission ended up convincing. being almost perfect with three promotions and no wounds, although unfortunately there were no mal canisters able to be recovered. What are you going to do? Perhaps more importantly, enough corpses ended up being recovered to finally start Xenobiology, and sales on the black market... Finally start. Did he say finally? Was that, did, he, did he throw that word in? To finally start... Finally start. Oh, you so sneaky. You think I don't notice? You talking shit right now? Finally start? I hear exactly what you're fucking saying. All right. But I gotta say... You know what, Steve? I like this video. This is good. Usually every week, I think I'm going to set aside an hour to review last week's TNX to remember what the hell I was doing. I generally don't do that because I'm too busy living a high-octane lifestyle. So this is great. This gets me straight back in. This gets me straight back into it. This is great. Thank you. You know, biology and sales on the black market let Beagle start building his satellite uplink to get the satellite that he's building actually deployed at the end. Actually, yeah, yeah, exactly. Which isn't a slight mistake. That's serious. All right, all right, all right. Disengaging. One hit, that's a start. Send in Ogre to finish it off. Now it's Ogre. Now it's Ogre. We're live right now. In engagement. I mean, please clap. Central, this is we have a confirmed rifle, 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 rifle. Shotgun, shotgun. It's not the best squad. Look, it's not the best it squad. It wasn't, now. no. All right, I won't lie to you. It's not the optimal loadout that we could have, all right? Look, I'll admit that freely. Thank you. But it's not bad. Beagle loaded into the store at the top, UFO at the bottom. He got to fix... He's talking into a spaghetti can right now. Now, I like... I like what I'm hearing, but it's bothering me because it sounds like he's talking to a spaghetti can. Steve, you got to fix this. All right, listen, listen, listen. You listen to this. The store at the top, UFO at the bottom with a freeway overpass map. What is going on? I'm not, you know, I, you know, this is a slight mistake you're making right now, Steve, alright? 
them to the bottom with it. You got some setting on your microphone or something. It sounds a little bit tinny. Now it's a good microphone. I hear you loud and clear, but you got to fix that. You got some wire that is not plugged in right. All right, you got to fix that. For, if you're doing another one of these, all right, this is is bothering right me. Overpass map, whatever that's called, <laughs> in the top back corner, which is a pretty good spawn position, which makes the map quite linear and gives XCOM good cover and height advantage as they proceed through the mission. I didn't listen to anything he just said because of the spaghetti can thing, but he, he was probably right. He's been right so far. The first sectoid pod was encountered by the gas tanks off in the other top corner of the map. And I thought Beagle got a little bit overly creative. Hang on, what? Here. Just breaking line of sight would be fine to let the sectoids mess themselves up with their AI between turns. Or if you're going to go over the canopy, why not hunker your soldiers? I don't understand why Beagle's letting the sectoids take shots at him here, even if the soldiers are in heavy cover. Because I'm giving him a chance! It worked out fine, and it was on with the rest of the mission. It did work out fine. I'm giving uh, him a chance, all right, Steve? I'm giving him a go. Now I'll tell you what. I'll play by play. The sectoids Shut up! Themselves. Shut up for a second. I'm going to pause the video. I'll play by play his play by play of my play by play, okay? Top corner of the map. Okay. I thought Beagle got a little bit overly creative here. Now, this is a problem, all right? Because this is just a difference in perspective, okay? Now, Steve is very used to our good, close, mutual friend Zwins. And Zwins is not burdened with getting overly creative, all right? So he's not used to this kind of play. But I'm just trying to be a, you know, I'm just trying to get aggressive here. And I, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to have a good time. Make sure the aliens are having a good time. Sport is about both sides having a good time. All right? Everyone's going to have a good time. Now, I go up on the roof here. Just breaking line of sight would be fine. Clip. Just breaking line of sight would be fine. But I don't live my life by fine. All right? The sectoids mess themselves up with their AI between turns. Or if you're going to go over the... I'm going to go up. Why not hunker your soldiers? I don't understand why Beagle's letting the sectoids take shots at him here. Now, I'll tell you why. And he's probably got a spreadsheet that says this is wrong, but I don't live my life by spreadsheet, so fuck that. All right. Now, I'll tell you why. Because I feel like if I hunker the guys in the door, the sector is going to go, hey, those dudes ain't going to shoot us. We can do whatever the hell they want. And they're just going to run out to the open. Maybe they're going to get a shot on my guys up there, you know? Is it unlikely? Yeah, maybe. Is it unlikely to get a shot in the full cover? Yeah, but that's what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of my boys. I'm thinking of getting some shots in and out. I'm getting some suppression in there. We're getting a football game going for the boys. That's why I did it. Now, don't show me no spreadsheets. Even if the soldiers are in heavy cover. All right. I'm never going to see it. it worked out fine, and it was on with the rest it of the It worked out fine. It worked out fine, Steve. It worked I out fine. I haven't the outsider yet. I'll get him next time. Okay. Whoa! Don't get so close After to me. After mowing down a sected pod in a fairly lengthy engagement, followed by some close-range encounters with drones, Beagle was able to kill the outsider and end the mission. One thing that I've noticed, which I find interesting about Beagle's play compared to mine, is that he plays much more slowly and more deliberately, circling the map, finding pods, and killing them slowly. Whereas I would run helter skelter into the middle of the map looking for meld at this point in the campaign. It'll be interesting to see if the extra corpses that he's getting by not using explosives pay for the meld that he's missing out on. What Join RBS is trying to say, all right, what Steve is trying to say is he's an addict. He's a meld addict. He is addicted to meld. And you know what? Sometimes I'm a little bit addicted to meld as well, but it's a real problem. We need to, we need to give Steve our help in this trying time to get him over his meld addiction. He's just, he's just running hell to skelter. He knows, you know, his troops are worried about him. He could be taking more time on these missions, but he's just running Helter Skelter for that mail. He's addicted to it. He's got a problem. Huh? Huh? Fucking hell. I mean, do they, do they know what they're voting for this time? <laughs> I forgot I made that joke. In Long War, a random country leaves the council in March of each campaign. And this time around, it was the UK, meaning the aliens are likely to focus on Europe. Then it was up to Beagle to take out the second UFO of the campaign with two Stingray Interceptors, and they made it through by the skins of their teeth. You know what's fucked up? I just bit some some skin off my teeth just then. That's that's deja vu. I'll never throw him away. <laughs> well done. AP 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 H E H E Medkit Medkit Motion Dragon Motion Dragon Ceramic Flashbang LMG from the distance Shotguns and rifles 
I think we've got a reasonable team here. It's pretty, pretty good. good. Those scopes going, man, but I think we've got a reasonable team here. For the last mission of the night, Eagle spawned into the open quadrant of a map that I like to call the quadrant map, the other three quadrants being a tree quadrant, ridge quadrant, and the UFO quadrant itself. Eagle headed up into the trees and trying to cross the road, the most awkward terrain feature of the map, mm -hmm. ran into a pot of sectoids, leaving him with very few options. It's very hard to get across the road because it has such little cover, and sectoids like to move backwards into fog of war, making it difficult to entice them they're, forward. They're very scared. They like to run away. After a lot of maneuvering, Beagle is able to cross the road and gain the upper hand, mm -hmm. killing multiple other pods as well as the sectoid pod he had initially engaged on. I feel like he could have used some clips of me screaming there. I think, uh, did I scream when I was crossing the road? I think I screamed some things like covering fire, uh, suppressing fire and movement, Semper Fi, uh, Chesley Puller, etc. He probably could have used maybe some stock footage of just people screaming uh, during this section to get the action up. He had enough time to take a little bit of a breather and then kill the outsider and headed home to base for the night. Okay. Zero men or women lost today. Zero. Pure success. We even got one meld canister. That's one more than zero. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. It's been a good day. They went quite well with no failed mission. Holy shit! Oh, we just. The only of concern were a lack Woo! of recovered in the hangar situation. He came out of nowhere. I wasn't ready for that. All four interceptors damaged at the end of the stream. Hmm. There's one scout still to come this month, and if it comes soon. How the hell does he know that? Get the FBI on this. How the fuck does this guy know all this shit? There could be some difficulties shooting it down. The MVP slot today was definitely Saul. She picked up one kill on Gatecrasher, suffering a 10 day wound for it set out the next mission, Soaring Giant, and was back in the team for Blind Serpent, the first crash scout of the camp. Soul killed a lot of fucking people. I didn't realize this was the same scout on every mission. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy, like, being famous. I didn't realize that Soul was, like, on every mission and did all the killing. Soul is a beast. Campaign where she was promoted to scout and ran forwards, picking up three kills with her shotgun. She was also the mission MVP on Spectral Hero. Look, I, I like that. I like look at the, look at the way his spreadsheets is, they curtain. Watch this shit. This is good. MVP on Whoa! Spectral Hero. It's like a Mexican wave. Mission MVP. Whoa! Where she was the scout, able to first cross the barren road with her shotgun, generate some flanks, pick up the only recovered meld canister of the campaign, and ended up with three kills. She did get the only meld, that's true. And a 14-day wound to show for it. Somebody else is going to have to step up next week to fill her shoes while she's recovering. Fuck, I forgot about that. There are two or three abductions and one more small scout left in the month as well. Wait, 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 what the fuck? He's seeing the future again. I actually need to hear this for today. What? He's seeing the goddamn future again. Play that again. Three abductions and one more small Look, scout. Further, further back. To fill her shoes while she's recovering. There are two or three abductions and one more- Two or three! Small scout. One more small scout. I don't know how he knows this, but we're gonna take it at face value today. This isn't like J.C. Lewis. We're gonna believe what he says. Left in the month, as well as one council mission. So that- As well as a council mission. Oh, goddamn council mission. That's what you can expect to see Beagle doing next week on Thursday Night XCOM at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's- Thursday night. That was like an hour ago. I've been Joe and Rips. I hope you guys have enjoyed my summary. There's a link below the video to my Patreon if you'd like to support me making more videos like this. You trying to take my money? You trying to take my goddamn money, Steve? You think you can just cash in like that? I have links to other series of mine on the screen right now. Holy and shit. I'm on Twitch basically every day playing some sort of game. I will be playing... Some Why didn't you tell me he was going to do this? My own ...this Thursday to sort of pre-game for Beagle Stream. We're just promoting them now. I think it will be a lot of fun. Cut the feed! Some beer, killing We're just promoting them right now. Cut it! See you guys next time. John Ribs out. Get him the hell out of here. He's we just cutting his. There we go. Put me back on the screen. Thank you. All right. So I mean, pretty good. I gotta say, pretty good. I gotta get my my studio back ready here. Pretty good. It's re it's what it's like two or three abductions left or something. There's like two or three productions. Uh, the, I'm thinking of production. Now. There's two or three abductions. It sounds like production left. Today, we got a council mission, and a UFO, so what, that's like five missions, according to the, the future wizard, uh, Steve, join Rib Steve. Um, but it's good, it's good to see a review, it's good to see the analysts revolving around the big season. It's good to see people rallying around the Beagle-based view economy, uh, in the XCOMP community right now. 
I mean, I might be a little biased, uh, but my unbiased opinion is I think everyone revolving around Beagle and him being the most important is definitely the best thing to do. All right, and Steve can be the court wizard anytime because I, I want to look into his crystal ball. It's helpful, and I don't have time to do that shit. So, that, you know, that's helpful. Spreadsheets, I'm never going to touch them. But if, if spreadsheets fuel your ball, you just you print them out, you stuff them in that little ball there in the little exhaust port. If that works for you, I mean, I'm going to benefit from that. Sure, bring it in, and we'll allow it. It's great. I mean, everybody's moving on up in, in the XCOM community right now. Isn't that great? For the last little bit. I mean, like, 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 take a look at Zwins. Like, Zwins is moving on up. You know, he's doing great. I mean, the Long War 2 team, they spent uh, a little bit over a year uh, rebuilding Zwins, upgrading his circuitry so he could be the, the perfect, like, deep blue of Long War 2 cheese and optimal min-max efficiency. I mean, it's fantastic. When your DM, when your dungeon master in a D&D group tells you, uh, you know, your, your character's too min-max, you can't play it, it's not realistic, you just take him to Zwins channel. You say, no, look, people can min-max in real life, all right? This guy's got an 18 and in, he's just dumped his other stats, all right? It's fine. You know, it's 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 absolutely good. I mean, he's moving up and up in the world. Like, we got, uh, we got, like, what, on the Live and Impostors? Like, you know, 14, 15, 16,000 viewers or something. Like, we're, you know, we got pretty small numbers, you know. We're not huge or nothing. Uh, but, you know, his wins is moving on up in the world. He's got, like, uh, what, you go to his videos, he's got, like, seven, eight, nine viewers. You know, watching every one of his videos. I mean, I think he's in talks to get a tenth viewer right now. It's great, and I'm real happy for him. It's awesome. But, you know, I, I am sorry I'm late today. Uh, you know, I, I wanted to get started early, uh, I, I was having my breakfast, having my Wheaties, everything, uh, and then I was getting ready to start, my work experience kid, you know, my intern, he's trying to move up in the XCOM scene, he just bursts into my office. He says, Beagle, you have to look at this video from Steve. Alright, you gotta look at this video reviewing your last week of TNX, it's great. I said, Christopher, alright, I know you're new to this whole thing, but you gotta calm down. Don't burst into my office ever again, I'll fire you on the spot, but thank you. I took a look at it, and it was good. Alright, it was good. So I'm glad he brought it to me today, and a special thanks to him. Now, you know, enough funny business here, enough reviewing of reviews. We gotta get back into the game today, so let's have a look over here. Now, before we get into the game, let's have a look at our subs today. What do we got down here? Let's yeah, take a look at these subs, okay? Because we, we didn't do the subs just yet. We're starting a little bit late. Alright, so we got a little hand to you as subscribed. Thanks very much, a little hand to you. Omega Infinita donated $13. Due to reasons such as my girlfriend visiting from NYC, I do not have very much money this week. So here's 13 USD to buy yourself a nice pizza from a Papa John's employee. Are we sponsored by Papa John's now? Everything by the numbers. That is fantastic. Thank you, Omega. You know what? Thank you, Omega Infinita. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Everything by the numbers. Thank you for your donation, Omega Infinita. That is incredibly kind. We're sponsored by Papa John's now. Can you believe it? That's incredible. That's absolutely incredible. By the numbers. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. And thanks very much for your $13 donation. From Papa John's. Fresh ingredients. Fresh. I don't fucking know what the fucking rest of the saying is because we just got sponsored by him so I haven't had time to look it up yet but thanks very much alright from Zorf Morph he's donated ten dollars and he just wrote a bunch of fucking Japanese I... what the fuck does that say? I'm gonna put that up on the screen someone help me we need to get this up on the screen hang on I don't know what the fuck that says uh, bring it up on the main screen what the fuck does this say? not that hold on yeah what, what, the, what is this? What the... What is this? What the hell is that? I don't know what the fuck that says. Alright, get that off the screen. I don't know what it says. I'm not gonna find out. But thanks very much, Zorfmore, for donating $10. I do appreciate it very much, even though... I mean, you could literally be saying to kill me in that message, and I would not know. But thank you very much anyway. Dreams of Cheese is uh, subscribed. For seven months. Thanks very much, Dreams of Cheese. Uh, who else we got here? Race account for nine months. Zero sum games sent in a hundred bits. Sakag has subscribed. Doctor Von Ver has resubscribed for eighteen months. Thank you very much. Crash Dummy has subscribed. Rai UK has subscribed for five months. Macho Man sixty six ninety nine. Whoa, that's double the sex number for four months. General has subscribed. Kedonk 
DT Wolfwood, both subscribed. Thank you very much. H1 Girl Papiri for 11 months. Null Ghost has used 25 bits. Rootful has subscribed. Zero Sum Game for 16 months. Grout Nasa, Falshen, Azanako, The Imperial Duck, Crazy Trooper, Danger Binds, they've all subscribed. Thank you very much. Fury161 for 32 months. Beastman for 29 months. Googly Gareth has. Hey, it's Googly Gareth! Googly Gareth has subscribed. He's another YouTuber. He's a good dude. Googly Gareth. I love that dude. Googly Gareth, Googly Gareth, YouTube.com slash Googly Gareth. I think. I love that guy. He's great. He's a funny guy. He got me into Metal Gear Solid uh, 5, it's great. The Danuke, resubscribed for 30 months, thank you very much. Zaranel for 9 months. World War II Easy Company has subscribed. And Dunskinski has used 5 bits. Thank you guys all very much. Alright. Now, we gotta hop in to, uh, objectively the worst part of the stream where we actually play the game, right? Because, uh, I'm actually not very good at it. So let's hop in. Anyways, right, fade that music out. Unfortunately, you know, we do actually have to still play the game. Get that off the sc I know you don't want to play. I know you don't want to play, computer, because you think I'm going to fuck it up. I'm scared, too. Alright, but we gotta- we gotta do it. Okay, there we go. There we go, okay. There's only Papa John's on one screen. Well, you gotta take it off if it's only on one screen. Okay. We do actually have to play the game today, which is a little frightening. Because things have gone so well up to this point, before me touching the game, it can only go downhill from here. But we actually have to play XCOM today, which I almost forgot. So, at the end of Steve's video, which is what I'm thinking of right now, he says that I have some missions to play. You know, I've already forgotten everything he said in that 10 minute video, but that's fine. We're just going to wing it. We're just going to wing it like we always do. So. I think we have one interceptor ready. He lied to me. He said they weren't ready. Souls out for 14 days. That's our big wound. Souls out for 14 days. 20 hours on Cappy. Everybody else is good to go. Everyone else is good to go. So I got $106. I think we just ended the last mission. Okay. I'm researching xenobiology. It's all good. I got my sword off. I've already built my sword off shotguns. We reviewed that. Two motion trackers. I'm probably not gonna build a shiv. You gotta do your 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 rebags, your research, engineering, barracks, foundry, hangar, situation room. You gotta go through them at the start. I got my soldiers. I got my hangar. Everything's good here. Right, everything's ready. I can sell some shit in the grey market if I need to. These are satellite transfers, they don't happen yet. My satellite... My satellite bullshit is building already. Satellite on uplink, it's already going, I don't need to... How much is a satellite? It's $200, I don't have enough fun bucks for that, okay? Not nearly enough. I think I can just scan forward here. What do I even spend money on at this point? More interceptors? I guess? Interceptors and in, uh... What facilities do I want? Lab, workshop, more uplinks. Standard, standard, standard stuff. I, I just go forward. It's all good, we can just scan. Just don't give me a bomb mission. Okay? I'm taking a break from XCOM 2, so no bomb missions. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. Okay. Japan. Heavy abduction. Heavy production. A hundred fun bucks reward. And it's a roadway. Because of course it is. Game loves to give me roadways. Okay. Heavy. Now most of the abductions we've done, if I'm not wrong, have been heavy already, haven't they? I think they've been heavy. Again, I'm not paying attention when I was playing last week. And I was spending too much time uh, ribbing ribs to pay attention to his vid. So, I haven't paid attention to myself twice now. But I think they were mostly heavy. So, we can expect sectoids, drones, the usual. Now, it's a roadway, which can be... I need like a little... Like a little binder, like a little binder full of maps. A little folder that I can just look at and go, Okay, it's this one, is this one, is this one. I used to have that picture, I got rid of it. It can be any of the roadmaps, obviously. And then, there's road construction, 
Does it count train as a roadway? No, that's an urban lodge. Fountain. That's right. Fountain. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spend too long thinking about this. We're gonna need. Do we have a sniper yet? I'm sure we uh, we picked a sniper, didn't we? Black Dragon is maybe gonna be my sniper. Do I only have one scout though? No, I need more scouts. How many damn people in training do I have here? Let's see. I've got so far. What is that? Two gunners or one gunner? I got one gunner, one scout, one engineer, two assaults, one tack. So I'm gonna need another well, one infantry. I'm gonna need another infantry. Okay, you got him right there. Probably another engineer and a medic at some point. We got them both there. So we can maybe roll one of these uh, supports into something random. See if we get something good. Alright, which could be good right now because I need more scout snipers. I need another scout. What else we got? We got a couple of uh, gunnies up here so we can get... Uh, and a fourth one down here. So we've got two gunners, two rocketeers already. That's plenty. In fact, we got, we got two weapons down here, two weapons up here. So we've got... Again, we can spend one of the weapons into a random. Okay. Uh, we, we need plenty more scout snipers, so I'll probably roll a little bit of both. I could use a scout and a sniper on this mission, I think. I need to start training a rocketeer and a medic as well. Plenty of assaults, so yeah. Let's let's take Memester. Let's see what Memester wants to be. Meme stress. If it's gonna be anyone, let's see what Meme stress wants to be. <laughs> she wants to blow shit up. Fine. <laughs> I'm sure that'll go great. Okay. What hair do you want? Forget I asked. I know what hair you want. I'm, I'm just gonna close my eyes. Hang on. All right. That's fine. <laughs> just like XCOM 2 memes. So that's right. I'm gonna roll. Now I'm gonna especially roll the heavies because I need even less heavies now. I'm gonna roll one of these heavies. I'm gonna roll dies into something else. Hey! Just what we need. Done. That's your random hair. Okay. We got the scout we needed. That's what's important. Now, how many people we got all around? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 wounded. We got 19 trained people. I always, I'm bad at this. I always forget how many trained people you want to aim for by the end of March. But we can probably take two to three people on this mission. Might take the Rocketeer on this mission. I would love a sniper. Can I roll one more person here? Can I roll one more uh, heavy here? Because I've got a Rocketeer gunner. And I got two down here, so I can roll one more heavy. But Boganova... I want to make Boganova into a gunner. Because Boganova was a gunner, so I want to I wanna make her into a gunner. That makes sense. I mean, I could roll... Nah, assaults are too precious. I'm not going to roll one of my tacks. The only thing I could do is maybe double dip someone. Which wouldn't be a big D. It wouldn't be a big D. Let's roll Gamage. Gamage is a medic. We're not getting the sniper today. Maybe I can just make a sniper. <laughs> What's up with your hair, Grandma? I'm gonna give you the Grandma bun. Where's the Grandma bun? Is that an XCOM 2 thing? I swear there's a Grandma bun in this game. <laughs> That's kinda like Grandma. It's kinda like Grandma hair with Grandma. Combat Grandma. I don't need a combat grammar on this mission, though. I can fatigue BD to be the sniper, because I got two scouts now. I can fatigue BD to be the sniper here. Wouldn't be a big D. I mean, Black Dragon is a big D. He's a bit of a big deal. So I can make him the sniper. And I want to start training the sniper for these road rays. Alright, so let's go squad side. Black Dragon's gonna be a schnipper. And, <laughs> and he's got the chicken hair. Okay. 
Is Dunker in the name list from yesterday's Dominus stream, asked Jamble? Yes, Dunker is in the name list. Dunker is ready. Dunker probably won't show up this week because we're not going to get anyone new this week, but next week when Council Rewards all just start rolling in, maybe we'll see Dunker. Maybe we won't. Dunker from the Dominus stream yesterday, he's... He's ready. He earned his way to the top. The best gladiator we've ever seen in Domino so far. He earned his way to that spot. Okay, so we've got a sniper, a scout, and a rocketeer. I think those are three good classes to keep leveling up. We'll take in some rooks. Who we got here? Fetty Fetty Boom. Boz. A great man. A great woman. He was a great man, now he's a great woman. He's fluid between campaigns, as all XCOM soldiers are. Rooster. Rooster can be Black Dragon's spotter with the chicken hair. Yeah, Dunker lived after he returned Salted Saltine at the end fight. He saved Jamble and all the other gladiators. It was, it was on. When you come to the Domino streams on uh, on Wednesday, and it, the, the bot rolls you in the Domino from the chat, Dunker was just a viewer. He didn't know what was going to happen. He became a legend. That's why I like watching Domino. It's fun. It's like XCOM. Daishi Air. Makalik, Fugelman, Lime's Trash Can, Dog Boy, Maverick. Who do I want to take? I got a good feeling about Obrek. Let's take Obrek. Boss Faceless. Uh, maybe Scuba Steve? Let's take Scuba Steve. Okay. Make items available because I need my motion trackers. Ah, shit. Whoopsie. Hey, I remembered it. What a great game this is. Yeah, Fugelman's gotta be on the next mission, I agree. Give Fugelman another shot after Alive and Impossible. Alright, now let's gear him up. Let's put a shotgun on Dyes, our new scout. Give her a little ceramic action. Memester. Now they changed it so that carbines don't give you uh, an aim bonus to rockets anymore, didn't they? I think they changed that. They changed it like in back in beta 15, didn't they? I think a while back. But you can still steal your weapon and that's what matters. Remember back when you take carbines for your rocketeers just to get the extra accuracy? But now we just take it because we want the mobility. But on a roadway, it's not as important to me. All that matters is, you know, we have one of the rifles we can steady weapon with. We'll see how we feel. We might come back and uh, change it to an SMG based on how the rest of the people are going. Give me extra rockets. I need extra rockets. 100%. 100th percentile, I need extra rockets. Gear them up. Yeah, we're going to need an SMG with that bad boy for sure. Okay. Memes 2 of the SMG. And we'll get back to you. Black Dragon. What do you need? You don't need a ceramic. You just need med kits and maybe a smoke. I think is about it. If I could give you a sawn off, I'd consider it. How much is a machine pistol? Three? Two to four, four to five, one to three. Ah. Psh. Nah. Nah, I don't need that. Give him a smoke in case he wants to reposition and do something. Or I can give him the laser sight for plus four aim. Eh, ah, I'll take the smoke over that, I think. I'll take the smoke over that. Can you give the snipers marksman rifles? You can. I won't do it in this case, but you can do it. Damn, sniper rifles hit for a lot of damage. Crazy. Okay, so that's our, that's our classed people done up. Dies, change around this AP grenade for uh, maybe uh, something else. I guess you can keep the AP for killing sectoids. Ooh! I forgot you all about battle scanners. Let's take us a battle scanner. Did I have- could I have taken those last week? Did I just forget? I think I just forgot. Let's take us a battle scanner. Hell, I'm considering taking two battle scanners. But I won't. Not this time. Although with a sniper and a rocketeer. I mean, with a sniper and a rocketeer, what the hell am I talking about? Yes, two battle scanners. We're gonna blow some shit up. Alright. Let's see what else here. Obrek with the AP. We need another AP. And we need some motion trackers going out here, kids. Scuba Steve. AP and motion tracker again. 
We're gonna rely on Memester. That's probably a mistake. But we're gonna rely on Memester to destroy cover for us if we need it with a rocket. We're just gonna destroy Sectoids, just blow people the fuck up. Two motion trackers, AP, AP. Rooster with another medkit. Make it right there. AP, AP, AP. Motion tracker, motion tracker. Medkit, medkit. Smoke. Scan, scan. Rocket. Shredder. SMG. I think we'll keep the SMG. Shotgun, sniper, rifle, 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 rifle. Okay. It looks doable. I'm not missing anything huge. I don't think I'm making any slight mistakes here, alright? No suppression, but, you know. We're at that point in the game where we don't have gunners just yet. Okay. The only thing I need to check is... No, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. Let's go. I went through my whole drink just doing that review. I haven't got any drink left. I gotta get some drink after this mission. Touching down. Let's go. You'll be heading into Japan for the next mission. Oh Local no. Government forces have reported a coordinated alien attack <laughs> oh, in a densely no. populated neighborhood. They're counting on us to secure the area. <laughs> now you want to secure this bridge, all right? I'll tell you right now. I'm just gonna drive an Abrams up this bridge. Sectoids would be like, "Oh, we didn't think they'd use their tanks." Of course I'm gonna use the fucking tank. Just driving Abrams right up this bridge. Just bomb the bridge. Send in the Harrier jump jets. Like in the movie Godzilla, starring Godzilla. Just blow the bridge up. You can't give enough of a shit about a bridge. To be sending my boys in the dire, right, that's fucked up. Well, let's get in there, we gotta do it by hand. All I need is one of those tanks from the warehouse. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. I just need one of those tanks from the warehouse map. That's all I need, just one. I don't need two, just one tank. And I would fuck this game up. That's how you get me to come back and play XCOM 2 again, alright? <laughs> Make a tank mod. <laughs> Make a M113 Aero Gavin Space Deployed Orbital Landing APC mod. So I can turn the other cheek against Advent. Otherwise, war is just going to be unending. Now give me a, a motion tracker and let's get to work here. No contact, that's what I like to hear. You know, we have fun here on Thursday Night XCOM. It's our second episode, it's time to get to work, alright? Let's buckle down. Now we got some bad boys up here. I feel like running up to this position may just put me in range of the bad boys. I need to get my Rocketeer ready. How am I going to do that? I can actually run, I can run that Rocketeer right up to here, if I want to get aggressive. But my boys do not have cover right now. Let's get our Rocketeer ready to go. Get our other troopers ready to go over here. Aye, aye, Commander. Get my sniper ready to go. BD, I need you ready back here, buddy. Yamigam. Yamigam. Sega. I reckon I can move it to the end of this taxi. No problems. That's affirmative. Okay, good. Cause we gotta get some melt, all right? Steve was a little passive aggressive about that melt dig. All right? I'm feeling a little bit hurt by that. I gotta get the melt today. Steve was very adamant that I get some melt today, it seems. Roger, I'm, not, I'm not gonna let him down. I'm gonna get some. Moving to position. Roger that. Scanning. Got it covered. Take some overwatch. Take a pistol. On overwatch. Here we go. Right into it. They're coming to me. One, two, three, four. Oh! That's a 23% pistol shot from Dies. Very nice. Good way to start my day. One on the right. Okay. Okay. Okay, alright. Alright. Alright, okay. Alright. Alright. Alright, okay. Kick it. Return of the Mac. 
What it is, what it is, what it is, what it is. Okay, the better, the better, the better, the better, kill one. Fine. I'm not even thinking about it. Straight up, kill one of those sectoids. Because <laughs> I'll tell you why. Could I have spent more time reviewing that move? Sure, yeah. But I've been on this map before. Fuck this map. And fuck this situation right now. When you're stuck in the initial shitty half cover on contact, fuck that. I'm gonna kill him straight up. Now let's see if we can take out another one. Because I don't want to get stuck in this half cover, but I got no choice right now. And that sucks. I don't want to be here right now. I'm gonna bring you around here. I don't know where the other sectoid went, kind of worries me. But we're just gonna take some shots here. Damn it. Missed the target. Yeah, you're damn right, damn it. That's not good. Don't want to go to that car. That's looking a little bit toasty now. I'm gonna move dies up. Moving to position. Try and see that other sectoid. Eyes on target. Ooh! Ooh! The motion tracker did not tell me about that pod. Ooh! Rocket still would have missed. So it's okay. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's not good. Oh! Oh no! That changes things a little bit. <laughs> oh! 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 Okay. Our base gonna move up. No more pods, please. That is an AP grenade that exists, it's just not a very good one. But they're probably- I don't know if they're gonna be that bunched up again. It might do some damage here. Scuba Steve probably gonna hunker. Black Dragon probably gonna shoot. And Dai is probably gonna hide. Have we got a smoke grenade for our boys here? Okay, I see exactly- I see exactly what I'm gonna do right now. Don't even joke. Scuba Steve, come back over. Dies to the side. Headed there now. Don't even joke, I know exactly what's going down right now. Except that leaves Black Dragon kinda... Yeah. But I gotta smoke it up. Hopefully BD doesn't get shot by drones. But I gotta smoke it up here. I'm gonna bring Scuba Steve over. I'm on the move. It's time to pop that smoke immediately. Sooner than we thought. Slightly sooner than we expected. Now we're gonna dank it up. It's 420! Alright? You knew we were gonna get dank immediately on 420. 420's gotta save us today. We haven't got many other hopes here. I'm gonna take a steadied action against uh, the incoming drones. Because I'm not gonna hit a fucking 15% overwatch against the drone. And then hell. What do we got here? Huh? 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 One of the sectoids does see me, correct? Yeah, little sectoid boy sees me. Do I hunker? No, you don't hunker against sectoids, they just mind fuck ya. Maybe I throw the grenade now? I'm gonna hold the grenade, I'm gonna take a shot. And I'm gonna take a shot against... This little asshole. This one right here. Because that's my boy Ogrek. Got him. I had a good feeling. Volume of fire is important. I can't see right now. Get this shit out of my face. Okay, falling back. Gonna do some mind bullshit. He's, he's scared! You think we're scared? The sectoids are terrified right now! Okay? Drone's coming in. Get on. fucked. They're hitting Obrek. They're angry about Obrek. I am angry. Angry about Obreks. We're taking shots. Ow! Alright. 
A little painful, but we're fine. Holy shit! Are we good? Okay, we good. Okay, we good. Now we're gonna take care of these drones right quick. We're oh, about to get lit up over here. I'm sure Memester can save him. It ain't a problem. It ain't a big deal. Memes is gonna save Obrek. Just gonna throw this shredder up here. Yeah, right there. Won't even know what hit him. Targeting system firing shredder rocket. We're good. It's just a shredder, it can't blow things up. It's okay. We shredded one We shredded one. We shredded one. We shredded one of the drones. <laughs> okay, we got one. <laughs> you can't ask for a lot more than that. It could have been worse. <laughs> I think we're gonna move up here and uh, start lighting them up, maybe. Because they're gonna flank me this turn anyway, so we may as well move up and start lighting these uh, these drones up. We haven't got anything better to do here, you know. We may as well be lighting them up here. We need to throw some grenades, so I need Rooster to move his butt up. Unless he can hit him from here. Nope. Get a uh, dies to move her butt up with the lightning. I'm on it, Commander. Let's pop everything we got right now. I got a 57 shotgun shot. All right, this sucks. We need to grenade these fucking drones, and I don't think we can very well. So that's a little worrying. Maybe we can get a couple of AP grenades over here that, uh, that roll lucky. Maybe we can be- Ooh, Ooh it's not looking good! Oh, boys, it's not looking good! A little bit of AP. Hang on. People are saying on Twitter right now, that's hashtag TNX, that's not a- Pistol, it's a, it's not a shotgun, it's a pistol. I've switched to the shotgun now. They were right. Thanks very much for helping me on, uh, hashtag TNX on Twitter. I appreciate your support. You were right. That was a pistol. Everything's a blur right now, okay? I'm gonna take a, a shotgun shoot. Although that's Shredder, though. That's Shredder. I'm gonna take a shotgun shoot. Over here. Thanks very much to our friends at hashtag TNX on Twitter for that kill. Uh, this this is your kill right here. Well done. Thirty nine, thirty nine. Let's take. Hmm. Ha. Huh. Yeah. Let's take an assault rifle shot on the left. Okay. Let's take a sniper rifle shot on the left. Okay. I mean, it's looking worse than it did a second ago. I'm not going to lie to you. Things aren't looking great right now. I would never lie to you about that. We're just going to try to kill one of these drones with an AP grenade. Because we don't have much else going on in our lives right now. Okay. Things are looking shit right now. Make no mistake, it's looking real bad. Things are looking atrocious right now. Now I can probably finish one of these drones off if Obrek sits still and throws another AP. But then he's probably gonna die. So I can't do that. There's no way he can move. Where he's not going to get shot up by the drones. So that's not good. And they, they're just going to light him up. They're going to light him up good. However. He would be less lit up than the others if he stays in the smoke. I think he's got to fall back. I think he's got a fallback. I think that's all he can do. 
I'm gonna move him back to this square first. On the move. He's in the smoke, folks. He's in the smoke, but he's only got a 35. We just gotta get him to cover. Alright, let's not throw too many lives away. This is unfortunate. This sucks. Alright. Shit's exploding right now. War is a scary place. We're gonna get flanked by two drones, and that's really bad for dies. <laughs> it's moderately bad for dies. Okay. It's moderately. It's, it could be worse. Okay, if that was Obrek, he'd be dead. Cover my plank. So that's better than it could have been. We're gonna deal with these drones today. Clear the area, because I might have to do a danger hot rocket on these guys. Oh no, I see what I'm gonna do. Okay, okay. Heal me up, Scotty. And then we're gonna run in and get a, a dope ass shotgun on these honeys. That's my plan. Heal me up. Heal me up. I'm gonna run straight in and get him. Watch me go. Heal heal him up. Nothing's broken. You're fine. We're not gonna take the memester rocket. We're not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go in for the kill. Shotgun. Dead. Not a problem anymore. I gotta deal with this other one now. And I have got an AP for just such an occasion. We'll see if BD can hit it and save us the AP grenade. Okay. Okay. We need to hit this drone, guys. Come on. This needs to happen today. Solid copy. Let's take a 47 of the SMG. Okay. Target still up. We're gonna get him. Don't be scared. It's going to happen. Okay, don't be frightened. Just gonna have to pop a couple of AP grenades here. Whoa, 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 perfect, perfect, perfect. 24 karat gold. Exactly where we want it. Precision fucking engineering. Right now, okay? Hmm, okay. That's a little worrying. Okay. We're gonna have to do that again. Okay, because Johnny Lumps, he's having a hacker war right now. He's live updating Long War 1.0 right now. This is Long War 1.1. He's typing right now. Oh, he's throwing the AP grenade. Drone DR up. 5%. Max power to DR. Full power to shields. Johnny Lump is fighting me right now. But I'm, I'm gonna do it again. Johnny Love doesn't think I'm dumb enough to AP grenade a drone twice. Well, he's got another thing coming. Let me tell you that. Okay. And get, get it up in the sky. Get it up there. Get it right up on that jersey barrier. Because this is a life-saving AP grenade. Precision engineering. Okay. Okay. We got it. First contact is over.
Now there's still two sectoids live. The drones... Dead. They don't have fear. And that's their weakness. They ran straight at me. Flew. Ran on air. I don't know how they travel. They're dead. Too stupid to live. They're programming. They never had a chance. The sectoids were smart. The sectoids have been fighting me for four, five years now. They get it. Run away. That's the only way you can beat them. They're trying something new this season. The drones didn't get the memo. There's been no firmware update for the drones. Is why I don't buy Advent Technology. It's got terrible support after launch. Awful. We're gonna move up memes to the side. Get the rocket ready. Ooh, maybe over here. I need some heals. Well, we, we can hold the heals maybe. I need a motion tracker up here is what I need. I wanted to get meld this mission and look at me now, I'm a chump. Heading there now. Zero meldings for me. I'm on it, Commander. We're gonna get that rocket ready, then we're gonna move up, I think. Moving. Just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. There you go. Just a little bit. I'm on the move. Everything by the numbers. Thanks very much to our subscribers. We'll get to you in the base phase. Don't you worry if you've never been here before. You aren't forgotten. Heading there now. Okay. I'm gonna take this opportunity to just steady with BD, just cover. I'm gonna reload on Obrek. I'm gonna reload on Rooster. Now a hunker dies. And I'm gonna take a steady weapon on Memestress. With a reload on Scuba Steve. Reloaded. Okay. What was that? I mean, I don't know. Probably aliens. What do you think it is? Let's get Obrek a little bit further up, maybe. No. Hold him. Hold him right there. We'll move dies up. No, we won't. That's a shit idea. We need another motion tracker. We need Scuba Steve to get his little tushy up here. I don't know what he's doing. He needs to get on with things. We're gonna run. Location run him right up. Steady that weapon. Steady that weapon. Overwatch, get some hunker into you. Motion track next turn. Here we go, they're coming back. Well, don't try to act like I didn't see him. I just seen him. All right, two on the right. Let's move up on him. On my way. You better believe these kids are mad. Roger that. I killed all their drones. I killed all their shit. You better believe they're upset about it. I mean, where are these guys? Where are these kids? They're like over here, behind this uh, truck. I could just blow that truck up right now. Cold-blooded. I think they're back here, like behind this this sub over here, maybe. We're gonna keep moving up. We can get a uh, battle scan is gonna get you killed. Next turn, you can move up with dies. We're gonna bring okay. Scuba Steve over so Scuba Steve can move up with the motion tracker next turn. You're holding that rocket. You're doing a fantastic job. You're gonna overwatch. You're getting ready to engage. Everyone's doing a fantastic job and I love it. I'm gonna overwatch with you. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Everyone's doing great right now. There's no need to choke. What was that sound? Aliens, again. It's still aliens. 14%?! Oh! <laughs> Johnny Lump just threw his keyboard out a plate glass window. He picked it up, he just threw it straight out. You know how much typing he had to do in 300 milliseconds to make that a 14% shot in the open on Overwatch for no reason? 
He picked it up, he broke it in half, he threw one half out one window, one half out another. Because he's been beat. Jesus Christ! Who with Scuba Steve, you're amazing. We're gonna move dies up. But I also got a motion track. I got a motion track hard. Because I gotta see if I'm gonna activate another pod moving up to here. I'm gonna move Heading there now. Scuba Steve, the Overwatch God up. To here. Zero contacts on radar. We're gonna move dies up. Copy. Gonna see that little guy. Oh! Just hanging out in the truck, are we? Look at him try to play it cool. He's not looking at me. He's like, oh, this truck looks really cool. That's why I'm here. Didn't even see you there, XCOM. What game is this sectoid playing? It's because he broke his keyboard in half. He can't control that one anymore. <laughs> He's given up. He was about to make that sector do like a matrix flip over the truck and flank me. He's thrown away his keyboard, he can't do anything anymore. Now that's zeros on everyone within sight, so we can just dash everybody up. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Ten four. Rooster's gonna run on up. We're dashing up, we know we're 100% safe to run up here. 100% safe. Running. To just dash up. Obrick's dashing up. Stepping off. BD is even gonna dash up. Do I wanna take the left or the right? Let's take the left. Okay, BD just running on up. BD hasn't done a lot this mission. We've gotta get him into the action. Black Dragon's hungry for kills, I know it. Now I need some more motion tracking here. I'm out of it on everybody else. I need to know what the hell's going on up there. Obrek, my man, give me, give me intel. I got a meld canister over there. That's good. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Settle down. I think I even saw the meld canister. Did I? He said that's what we're looking for. Where is it? What? What is what we're looking for, Obrek? Don't leave me in suspense. Where is it? That was a little dangerous. That was. That was a slight mistake. Okay, that was a slight mistake there, because Obrek's only got four health, which I forgot, because he's such a beast of a man. Looks like the meld is maybe behind the truck. Maybe on the left side of the truck, and the, the boys are behind it. We're just gonna blow the truck up. So we don't wanna take that spot just there. That's a trap. That's a trap and a half. It's a trapezoid. But I think. I think I moved to, to like here. It should be all good. It should be all gravy. Heading to that location. Okay, we're good. I need uh, to probably throw a battle scanner over as well. Why not? Ah. Do they only last one turn now? I can't remember. I think they only last one turn now, so I'll probably wait till next turn actually to throw it. I'm gonna take the steadied Majiggy. Rooster's gonna keep on moving up on the right, I think. Moving. Get the overwatch ready. Scuba Steve, ready to flank on the left here. I'm gonna take a reload. And BD, also ready to fuck shit up over here. 100% ready to fuck shit up. There's no squad side diminishing returns aim penalty in XCOM 1. I think. I actually don't know if they added that or not. In 1.0, I don't think they did. But I'm pretty sure there isn't, so he can be right back here, he can do what a sniper does. Overwatch. Scanning. Take a reload. Take a reload. And steady that damn bunker buster. You hear that? The melt's still alive. It's still going out there. Could you hit a rocket on those sectoids? Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. I can't tell. It's been a while since I listened to the heartbeat of a newborn baby meld through my stethoscope. But I believe 
That is a meld that is got two turns of life left. I think when it's a one turn meld, it's like wah 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 wah. I think it's a two turn meld. Normally it's like wah wah. This is wah 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 wah. I think this is two turn meld. I think we can get it. I gotta get this scan up there, but I, I don't want to leave the scout in a position where she's gonna get fucked up. So I think if I stay here, that's probably for the best. Throw a scan up. Scanning target area now. Oh yes. Sectoid bodies are for idiots. Oh no, it's on the truck. I can't do it. Shit. Shit. And you only got a 59 to hit? Is the only one you can see? He's not in cover from you. Don't lie. Oh no, that one. The only one you can see is the one who was in cover from you. Shit. I think the meld will last one more turn. Maybe if I aim to the right, maybe. Okay, maybe. Maybe I can blow a couple of them up. You right, you right. Maybe I blow myself up. Let's not get crazy here. What can we do here? When we activate these guys, they're gonna run behind the meld truck. And that's it. Oh, I can aim up. I forgot I can aim up in this game. This isn't XCOM 2 at all. I can aim up. Okay, that's not, that's not, that's not so bad. Memes could maybe do it. Memes could maybe make this. It all depends whether Memes will do what I want, or what deceit and trickery and the general spirit of mischief wants. Look, I know that sounds bad, but I don't think we can get the mail any other way. I don't see it. We used our IPs. I don't see us killing these guys once they activate in 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 two turns. We just gotta see what the memes have in store for us. That's all there is to it. Going hot. It's not what we wanted. It's not what we wanted, is it? It's not what we wanted. I can still only see one of them. It is not what we wanted to occur. I think everyone's clear on that. <laughs> Very much not what we wanted here. From Memester. Not at all. We're gonna move up. I'm on it, Commander. Pray for Overwatch. Yes, Commander. But I think that melt's dead. That little baby meld is dead. Overwatch, I am that sweet little baby meld Roger, is dead on arrival. I gotta renew my doctor's license because that is the sound of dying meld it turns out anyway. Well, now we got all the time in the world. We can take this however we want to take it. Poor little baby meld. Which means maybe we can get Black Dragon to get a reasonable shot on these guys, which would be nice. Where do we go? That's better. That's a flank. 69%. I had to update my, my stethoscope. Because I, I thought for sure we'd be fine with that meld. Moving out. But I was wrong. Memester has done very little with rockets this turn. This round. This campaign, this game, I, I think you'll agree. A couple of kills, I guess. We really need those scopes. But maybe Memester can get up to here. Copy that. Reload. Move up. Dies, getting ready to go. Headed there now. Get our pistol ready. On Overwatch. Let's rock. 
And we're just creeping up. Creeping up here. Just trying not to get anybody killed now. The time is over. I don't know what that sector is doing. HOLY SHIT! There's a whole nother pod back there. Okay, this is definitely... This is definitely a scary situation. There's another pod just sitting back in the back corner. I gotta take this very carefully, because we're out of rockets. I mean, I probably want to pull them to me now. No grenades. Drones are coming in. I need to use my other medkit. So Obrek probably needs to get the fuck out of there. We're probably gonna pull him towards us. But we can't pull him towards us. I gotta just throw a scan up, snipe him, and just fall back, I think. You can stay there, you can shoot from there, and you can you can tuck yourself in. Obrek's probably gonna fall back. Being real. Probably the rest of us gonna fall back. But let's just throw a scan from dies. Take a snipe. And that'll probably be it. That'll probably be the long and the short of it. Well, that's where BD should be. That's a nice spot. Okay, let's bring dies back here. Solid copy. Throw a scan. Big brother is online. Just as well we didn't go over that mail, we couldn't have got it anyway. The mail was dead instantly. It's Lump's last laugh. We're gonna pull one pot at a time here. Now, the other one's moving around, this one's stationary. That presents interesting options. If we pull the right pod, they haven't got as much cover to move to either. I mean, they're kind of hosed there. But, the other pod might come to us later, but the other pod's easy to deal with because it's two sectors and a drone. Well, I mean, that's harder, but I consider that to be easier. So if we pull this pod now, we kill one, one of them will scurry to this truck, one of them will scurry, I don't know the fuck where. Or I kill the other one, one sector runs at me, and I probably wipe him out because he's got no cover to move to. And then the drone, uh, we deal with. Maybe take out the other pod. Maybe take out the other pod, I think. Let's go for the other pod here. Because I think that leaves them less places to go. Dead sectoid. Sectoid and drone. Are now in activity. We're just going to overwatch them coming in, basically. We don't want none of that shit. Take some cover. Let them come on in. That's our game plan here. Get BD to the top of the truck, maybe? Just just snap him up. On Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. Oh, memester. Or the SMG, I forgot. Okay, here comes a little sectoid. Right then, we're not overwatching him, sadly. We didn't catch him on Overwatch. Maybe I should have just steadied my weapons, is what I was thinking. Okay, drone's fucking around. Okay, the boys are coming in. The boys are moving. The boys are live right now. Get the boys. Goddamn SMG. Okay. Now we got a full combat load coming at us. There's another 45 from Rooster. We need a cockle doodle doo right now. Cockle doodle fuck. That's not good. That gives us one drone and four sectoids. They're hurt, but we don't have any grenades left to finish them off, I don't think. We uh, spent all our consumables earlier. So we need to start falling back. That's what's up. I, once again, can only see the sectors I don't want to shoot. Which is a problem. Start falling back a little bit. And steadying those weapons. Bring you back to here. Dies. Needs to hides. Obrek needs to get the fuck out of the way. I mean, where the fuck can Obrek go? Maybe... Maybe here is the least likely place for him to get shot, but he can get shot from everywhere right now. 
There isn't really a not get shot Obrek place. Except maybe here. Maybe there. So let's run Obrek back. Rolling out. Let's break line of sight. We're not gonna get overly creative. Alright? We're just gonna break line of sight. It's an important tactic in every commander's repertoire. I'm gonna bring Scuba Steve back. On my way. And we're just gonna break loss. Let's uh, bring memes to here. Headed there now. Good, exactly what we want. Rooster back. On the move. Okay. We've broken the line of sight. We're good. We need to Overwatch with the memes. The memes just. The memes just need to Overwatch. I've got my eyes on. Get that city weapon ready. Overwatch from Rooster. I'm on it. Definitely I've watched from Scuba Steve. I've got my eyes on. Dies! I'm gonna say not this time on. We're gonna bring Dies maybe up, maybe maybe here. Moving. Just gonna take the hunker. I gotta get Obrek out of there before he gets hit on his full health. No shots on that sectoid. Okay, we're getting the mine merge. First mine merge of the day. Drones flying in. Here to fuck my day up. 24% for Scuba Steve. I hate drones running my Overwatch. Holy shit, Scuba Steve, calm down. Scuba Steve's very good at Overwatch. And she made the drone land, so that drone's dead now. Fantastic. I think Obrek's in the line of fire. No, he's good, maybe. Okay, all our little babies. All the little sectoid babies, all the little gray babies that are stuck on the right. Scuba Steve the god. Try and finish him off. You might still be reeling from that hit. Yeah, you're still reeling from that hit you weren't expecting to make. I, I wasn't expecting you to hit there, honestly. When you make an amazing shot, you're gonna fuck up the easy one next. That's just how it goes. That's science. Alright, I'm not surprised. But we need to finish off the drone with BD. Easy. Drones out of the action. Okay, the drone's gone. Now we've got some shitty shots here and we don't want to take them. They're in good cover. We need to fall... Uh, fall these people out of here. Get back. Rewind the track. We need to get the fuck out of this area. I mean, I need to fall Rooster right back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, if I just run him back, he's not going to get fucked up. By, by nothing. Stepping off. He's out and he's good. Memester, I'm considering the same. We want to pull right back to the start here. We want to put them in the shittiest, most flankiest cover possible. That overwatching boy sees me and I don't like that. But what am I going to do? I mean, I, I ain't got a lot of options here. I fall you back. I mean, I can fall you back to here and hunker, but you're still gonna be in sight, Obrek, and that's a real issue. We want to break loss. And on the right, I think you can see the Overwatcher as well. I might have to run. What I might have to do is move Memes to the right. We can't fully break it just yet. Move Memes to the right. Dies up to the side. Hunker. Obrek can fall back. We get the other two out, hopefully next turn, but I feel like we're gonna take some mind phrase. Or... We just run me memes to pass the Overwatch, and we just hope she can make it. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do that instead. Fuck memes stuff. And then that's gonna let Obrek run to where exactly? Uh, back to like here. Where he shouldn't be able to get shot. We're just gonna run your ass back, I think. Orders confirmed on the move. Should be fine. No problem. Incoming over here. Memestress has no time to get hit by Overwatch. Don't worry about it. We gotta run Obrick back because he's a, a little wounded boy. He's a little wounded guy over here. Let's probably run him back to here so he can get a... Uh, oh, don't run that way. There's another Overwatch over there. Run back to this way then. 
Okay. We need to get dies back. We're just gonna break that loss. We're just gonna break that loss. That's affirmative. That's all we're doing right now. This could go real bad, alright? We got no consumables left. It just depends how smart the sectoids are. Okay, we gotta kill that guy. For sure. For sure. Scuba Steve needs to reload. We're gonna run up on the side here. One in the back still mine merging. Gonna run up on the side. We're all a tile away from taking advantage of that, sadly. So again, probably just keep falling it back. Obrek, he's got to get out of there. BD has got to get back. Maybe I'll bring him over here. He'll he'll BD. And no one can take that spot, though. BD back to here. Take a steady. We're going to make him come to us. BD back to here. Take a steady. Reload. We need some Overwatch over here. Orbeck, move here. Solid copy. We're gonna get Memester and Rooster overwatching. Heading to that location. Uh huh. I'm on it, Commander. Cause we gotta fuck these cats up. They're not literal cats, metaphorical cats. We gotta fuck them up. Maybe get Scuba Steve. Hmm. Then Saul's gonna- I mean, then Dyes is gonna get fucked up on the flank. Now leave Scuba Steve there. Leave him ready. Overwatch when that Sector runs up. Sector will be like, oh shit, you're gonna shoot me. Your Sector will run away. It's all good. Bring BD over here. Stay that weapon. Yes, na. Yes, na. And then Dyes, we're just gonna break away. We're gonna get out of the action. Maybe bring, uh, dies like over to here. So she's still ready to act. On the move. As long as there's nobody on this left side of the... Tr uh, yeah, yeah, okay, good. That is a little scary. We're gonna reload. I know, it's scary. But we're gonna reload. I know it's scary. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't do it. I'm not... I'm not gonna go that crazy. Heading there now. We'll bring Scuba over. Because he might go suicide commando sector and shoot me. But I am going to overwatch. Because we got to catch him on these overwatches of these healthy troopers over here. Scanning. I'm even going to do it Obrek in heavy cover. Covering now. Steady with the sniper. I'm going to take the reload. I'm not going to take the reload of Scuba Steve. I'm going to hunker. Hunker. And let's see what happens. We're not going to reload. Okay? I don't do reloading. Alright, now this is the problem. Getting caught by this guy on the left, it's an issue. No! Not great. I want to go home! Also, no no! not great. Yeah! Not great for meme stuff. <laughs> now, BD really needs to pull us out of this hole we've dug for ourselves. Because we don't have much else. Couple of cats here. Okay, 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 okay. I wanted to run the Overwatch there. Maybe if he'd reloaded Beagle. Yeah, well, shut the fuck up. I can get this guy. But he can see me on Overwatch. But if I run Rooster up, it's gonna freak him out, make him run. I got a 44 on this guy. It's not very good. Let's be real, it's not very good. This is a bad round for days. For Dyes. Diaz. It's a bad round. Maybe I run the roost man up. Maybe I run the roost up. Has anyone got a motion tracker left? Only Obrek, and I don't want to put him closer. I want to find out where the other sectoid is. We got three here. One, two, three. I want to run the roost man up to here. Flank this sectoid. Freak him out. Make him run around so that he's not going to shoot my boys here. My girls.
But the situation ain't good. I'll tell you that. The scout being the one that's out of the line of sight right now, that's bad. It's very bad. So we run scoops to the side. We take the pistol flank. We find out where the other sectoid is. What's Obrek doing this turn? I mean, if he's not doing anything, we can move him up as well. Spend the track. Okay, you don't see any sectoids on the right here. The closest sectoid is this one on the back of the truck. So you don't see any on the right here. Maybe he's behind this red truck, maybe he isn't. But that's the closest one you see. Okay? I think we go in for the big the big run. Go for the flank. Go for the big running flank. I'm just crazy enough to do it. Double time. Rooster's going in. Okay, they're both there on Overwatch. Holy shit. I'm gonna take a foudy foul. I think. No. Yes. No. I mean, where are they going to run? Where are they going to run next? Do I take the Faudi foe? They're going to move to this heavy cover to try and engage the roost man. One of them's going to run up to this truck. One of them's going to run up to that truck. Can I get someone in range of that? I don't think so. Maybe if I put Obrek here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I don't think I can get someone in range of the, the truck. Unfortunately. Unless I went super hard. I have to take like a pistol overwatch. Uh, I mean, that range, that's not going to work. You know that's not going to work, Beagle. What if, what if I, can I just run it? I mean, it looks like I can just run it, actually. It looks like I can just, honest to God, run it. Dai's probably going to die. Let's get real for a second. Dai's is probably dead. But it looks like, according to the sightlines manager, I can just run both these overwatches. You can get spotted if you're there. Oh, oh. You could get fucked on the diagonal. Is a real issue here. You could get fucked on that di- You're gonna get fucked on that diagonal, I think. Yeah, you're gonna get fucked on that diagonal. Don't take the overwatch. You're gonna get fucked on the diagonal. So you just gotta hold. Black Dragon. I mean, we need damage. We need this 44 to hit. Or, we just fucking heal up Obrek and Obrek gets in there and starts laying in the bitches. Probably the best move we got. Maybe Obrek just needs to heal some bitches right now. We need to get healed. Then we just run him in and get him into the fight. Fuck it. Moving out. Let's get Obrek into that fight. Heal him up. We need him back in the action. Okay. Now I can run him straight up here. Or I can take the overwatch. Do you think he'll charge at me? I don't think that guy's going to charge at me. So we probably just want to run him up. Get him in the action. Get him ready to, to cover. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. I feel like he can make that flank. So let's not move him to there. That's a little crazy. We'll put him on. Uh, we'll put him on semi Overwatch for right now. Okay. Roger that. I'm scanning. Reload, Scuba Steve. Or go for the. Are you gonna hit the pistol Overwatch? Are you really gonna? You're not gonna hit it at that range. We reload, Scuba Steve. Although the Overwatch might freak him out and make him sprint. I think we need to reload Scuba Steve. Let's be real here. Let's do this. It's a shit turn, but it's the only turn we have. Just try to survive this turn, dies. And everybody. Okay, crushing across. We're shooting at the Roost Man. Roost dodges like a champion. He's okay, folks. For now. 
Okay. More shots at the Roost man. He's putting the team on his back. They're fucking with his brain. He's fine. He doesn't give a shit. The third sectoid. The mine merged one. The big carry. He's coming in for the kill shot on dies right now. He's going for mental bullshit. Mind fray. Fuck you. Johnny Lump playing out of his goddamn mind right now. But it's not going to be enough. We're going to make this happen for us. Now, Dyes can't do shit. That sucks. But we can get electric right now. We can go for the flanks. That's exactly what I'm going to go for. You reckon that sector can flank me? One, two, three, four, five. Probably. Is that, f is that five? One, two, three, four, five. Let's play like five turns. If I just move to here, he can... He can probably, f he can probably flank me, but I gotta fuck these sectoids up. I gotta fuck them up. I haven't really got many options here. These kind of flanks will present themselves again. I gotta go ham like a ham bone. I gotta go in. Rooster's doing it for the team right now. Take him down. Holy shit, that's bad. Okay. Rooster needs some cover. Rooster's gonna need a lot of cover. Okay, Rooster. In a bad way right now. Oh no. Not good. Now I can move Scuba Steve here, Overwatch. For the back one trying to move in on me. But the best move here that I could potentially make might just be to freak the sectoids out. He shouldn't be able to get back there. If I run Scuba Steve up on the left here, where do the sectoids go? One of them goes to flank me. And one of them is just going to go to flank me. One of them is just going to go to flank me. I'm one tile away from what might not have been a flank. One of them is going to move to flank me. The other one... I mean, he probably comes over here. Do I bet on them being little pussies? Do I think they'll run away? I don't know what to tell you at this point. It's a hard choice. Can BD hit a sniper shot, perhaps? Okay. I move up to here with Obrek. I pin him with the Overwatch. Then I freak him out. That sounds a little bit better. We're gonna go for the flank. They're little baby sectoids. They'll freak out. They'll freak the fuck out. All right, make no mistake. They're gonna lose their shit over this move. Scuba Steve's gonna run in and freak them out. I believe in Scoops. Scooby Dooby Doo is gonna do it. Moving out. Go for it. We're already fucked. The only thing to do when you're getting fucked this hard, is fuck the other guy harder. Alright? That's our only choice. You just gotta pray you've got more piston action than he does. Obrek's gonna move up. Affirmative. Go for the pin. We can't overwatch with the snipers, they gotta do something. Memester. Memester could move to here. But what the fuck is that gonna do? That's gonna do fucking nothing. That's going to do fucking nothing and garbage. Maybe instead, I come over to here. I get ready to come up on the right of the sector after they kill Rooster. And extract holy vengeance over here. Understood. Moving out. Okay. Because that motherfucker, he's just going to flank me from this red truck. I mean, Rooster's in a lot of shit. He knew the risks when he went in. But Meeps is going to be there to extract vengeance after Rooster's dead. Now we got a sniper, we got an Obrek, Obrek's overwatching, and we got Dyes. Dyes can move up, get ready to fuck somebody. BD, do I take a 24? What do I do here? Do I take a fucking 24 right now? Or do I steady my weapon? I think I gotta steady my weapon for the oncoming onslaughts. Because where are they gonna run? To the right? BD can't shoot that one. Gonna stay right there or flank me again? I'm gonna get double flanked? Rooster's dead. 
BD not being able to shoot either of those guys. He's only going to get another shot on these two. This one's going to run, I don't know the fuck where. But it'll probably move away from his heavy cover. So I move BD up. Steady it. Take it in the half cover that hopefully one of them is about to run to. Not a reload. Oh, no, 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 no. Not a reload. Steady my weapon. Take the overwatch. Got it covered. Dies has got to run to the right here. Get ready to extract more vengeance. Roger that. And it is what it is. Folks, this this here, this is it is is gonna be what it is. They're mind merging the critting insectoid. It's all over but for the but for the crying, alright? Flanking in on Rooster. What? They're shifting their attack! Has Johnny Lump not got a new keyboard yet? What the hell is going on? I freaked them out! I panicked them! I panicked the sectoids! Violence of action! Alright? Violence of action! You just gotta fuck the other guy harder! And they're just rolling over for it right now. Rooster's alive! <laughs> what? What's going on? Take the 44. <laughs> we can't- <laughs> We can't waste this new lease on life we've been given. I got a flank on this guy right here. I aim to take it. Okay, for a start. That's my first move. I'm going to bring Rooster back into glorious cover. And take that flank. Come on, come on, come on back. Moving out. 65. Now we really need to hit this. We really need to hit this. Okay. 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 Missed the target. We didn't really need to hit it. I was lying. It's okay. <laughs> we really... We really needed to hit that. You know, being honest, we, we really needed that. That's okay. Because we really need to destabilize their flank right now. We need to fuck them up. So I'm going to move Memester straight in because I'm going to continue this violent action right now. Because it's critical that we do that right now. Where are my other movers? Dies is here with the 18. Mind frayed high on life out of her mind right now. Not very helpful right now. If I move to here, this one can move to here and that's a problem, but... I can then bring Dyes around to flank from there, so Sector's a little bitches, hopefully it'll work out. We're gonna move up Memester. Position. Memester's gonna go hard in the paint. We're gonna 91, we're gonna 85. Okay. Three damage of a 50% to crit. Three to four, two, two to four damage, alright. So we've only got a 50% chance to kill this Sectoid. However, if BD hit his shot, it'd be different. However, we can then I mean, if we can kill this one, Scuba Steve can move up to better cover. I mean, Scuba Steve can just keep freaking him out, too. We're right up to, like, here and shit. The perfect turn would be Scuba Steve moving up to here. Killing this one, then Memes doesn't have to. That's the perfect turn. And it's what I gotta go for. Because, because it's what I gotta go for. I gotta believe that nobody can fuck up as bad as I'm worried these two soldiers are about to fuck up. I gotta believe that they can That's not just fall all over their dicks right now. And I gotta believe they can hit one of these two flanks. Good. I had to go aggressive. One down. Finally. Take the 91. That's what I'm expecting. But we're working on him. Dice has to come to the right, make sure he doesn't get flanked. Obrek's gotta move up. Gotta make sure Memes doesn't get flanked over here, so move to the side, dies. Orders confirmed on the move. Keep that better. Obrek's gotta move up and do shit. 
Maybe, maybe an Overwatch over here. Make sure nobody flanks Scuba Steve. On my way. Let's see what they do. We're still in a fight for our lives right now. A life or death battle. Mine Mergen. The sector, will he go aggressive on Memester? Run in. But he's got a shot on Dyes now. Watch out, Dyes. Holy shit. It's a mind. It's a mind thing. Dyes continues to be mind fucked. A lot of alien voodoo bullshit going on right now. The sectoid runs back. Into better cover. They're selling in for the long game. The scout still precision panicked. So I couldn't move up or anything this turn. Out of ammo all over the place. It's looking rough. BD is the fuck out of ammo. Okay? It's looking rough. It's looking rough. I gotta take a reload on the memes. Dies in a lot of trouble. Okay, no lie. Dies in a lot of trouble right now. Dies goes down. This is gonna get ugly. Real quick. I gotta do some, some overwatches over here. I don't have a lot of options. I gotta move BD up. Reload him. What's Obrek gonna do? Obrek can't move up too bad. He's gotta watch himself because of that Overwatch. If I clear the Overwatch... Hmm. No, I still don't like that move. If I pull you back, I mean, who can see who here? You, we can only see this guy, so if we, if we pull Scuba Steve back... We can't actually see the other two. Which might bait him into making a shitty move here. Or we steady our weapon. Go for it. 40% next turn. Because I can't quite see the wounded one from here. Unfortunately. That could be a ballsy play. I can't quite see it. If I could run the Overwatch, I could come up here, hunker, get on the next turn. But that's a blue move. Forget about it. I don't want to play that game. The only way I'd be doing that is if I ran Memester over here. I'm just not going to do that. Memes is my strongest health assaulter right now. She's all I've got on the assault team. I need her intact. In position. Alive. I could run Obrek up to try and clear the Overwatch. I could. Then I hunker Scuba Steve. But Scuba Steve's almost guaranteed to get mind fucked is a problem. But if she doesn't, we're clear here. There's a lot of yeah. I don't think it's the right play this turn, but I think in the turn's coming. So I move a brick up. One. Aye, aye. Now I break loss. These two are gonna... They're gonna have to move if they want to do anything. So I'm gonna move you back. To position. For an overwatch. We're gonna reload Memester. Back online. Straight up. Go for the reload on Rooster, I think. Bet on him continuing to be a little bitch about this. Let's do this. Overwatch, aye, aye. Come get some. Sector's coming in. He's double moving. He's a little bitch. He's running. Correctly planned. Now we're taking shots though. Oh! Just catching an Obrek on the corner of his Overwatch there. Just catching an Obrek on the corner of Overwatch again. Obrek's okay, folks. And it's... It's over. <laughs> it's absolutely over now. Because I've committed. They've all committed themselves to being flanked. Well, this one hasn't. That one's not over yet. But these two? It's gotta be over, right? Well, maybe not, actually. Fuck, I haven't got people in position. Are you ready to yet, Dice? Fuck, Dice isn't ready yet. I got 39. If I could kill that guy, it's over. I need to try and get a shot on that guy. 39, he's in half cover. Mathematically, we're not going to get better than this. Let's take that shot. He's got to hit one of these shots for this mission. Okay. Not yet. But we're working on it. We're working on it. Now, I can't get to the position I need to quite. Quite yet. Though I can flank one of them. Now, now if I... F hmm. 
Okay. It might be time to get dangerous. If I flank to here, I maybe kill the one on the back of the flank. That can allow Memester to come up on the right. Lay into him with the SMG. Rooster's here to provide Overwatch. It's the only move I got. Obrek will then have to move up and cover so I don't get flanked in kind. But it's my only choice. They're not overwatching. This is my move. This right here, this is the move. Scuba Steve's going in. We're going in and we're going hard. Hey, buddy. Okay. The 65. Betting on the crit. We're going to take him down. Here we go. Not what we needed. But it's getting us there. Now I can go in like a bat out of hell. Kill that sectoid. I mean, you better damn believe that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go straight in for this sectoid. Believe it. Aye, aye. I'm done playing games. Right now. I'm done playing games. You're dead. We're taking them down right now. Okay, one down. Two left. Now it's time for Overwatch. For this balls to the wall. Papa John's play of the game. Thanks very much to our sponsor, Papa John's. Thank you very much. This is a spicy dish. A deep dish of a play right now. We're going in deeper than Papa John's crust. I've never had a Papa John's pizza in my life. But I'm assuming that they have a deep dish version. We're going to get some mad Overwatch going with Obrek and the boys here. To keep our boys and girls safe. Will do. Where does Rooster move to? To here? To here? I mean, if it moves to the right, it's going to flank both of them anyway. But Memes has got their health. That's why we're letting her get flanked. So if I run to here... I mean, I can flank that one. I, and I need to cover both of them anyway. But that one could just... I mean, that one has to run past Rooster at this point. So they don't, they don't both go... They don't both... They, they, don't both, they don't both get wasted on the left one there. But that left one's going to deal some nasty damage there. But that one's not flanked. So hopefully that one chills the fuck out and just sits there. I run up Rooster on the right. Good to go. And I take the Overwatch. And we stop the future from happening, hopefully. On Overwatch. It's all in the hands of Obrek and Rooster right now. And that's that's all we have left. One! Going! 45% from Obrek! Going for the flank! It's a miss! Rooster, we need your cover right now! For this Papa John's play of the game on this 45%, we need you right now! Holy shit! That's bad! That is not good. Okay, that's bad. They're moving to flank me! Oh my god. But we're still getting flanked over here. This was the real problem. You wasted your overwatch. We're you wasted your- <laughs> Don't blow up! That was the Papa John's play of the game. Right there. Knowing that they would miss like that, that was the Papa John's play of the game. That was it. We're still going in! Roger. Tracking. We can't stop here! We've committed to the breach, you can't stop in the middle of a breach. Dead! Down. Weapons empty. Can't engage. Thank you, Papa Johns. Papa Bless. We're taking a 39. One of these missions. Zaraza. BD's too busy stuffing his face with the Papa Johns pepperoni deep dish play of the game pizza right now. So that's an issue. We're gonna set up, we're gonna, we're gonna flank this little sector to death. Aye, aye, Commander. We're gonna pull Scuba Steve back into cover. Okay. Get him into cover up here. Close range. Moving. We're not gonna go for the flank. Heading out. They're already flanked, we can go for the Overwatch hits. Okay, we're gonna, we're not gonna go suicidal. I'm not gonna bet on a five, a fiver here. Where the hell is Dyes? Dyes, stop moving. We're gonna need you in a second. Solid copy, Commander. Come get some. 
It all comes down to this. Stop him before he kills again. I don't want that car to blow up. I really don't. Okay, he's still alive. He's dashing for his fucking life. Look at him go. He is dashing out of his mind right now. He is afraid. If only BD could see him, he could have got that hit. Memester out of ammo. People are just dashing in right now, trying to get this sectoid. Okay? It's wild in here right now. <laughs> I got a pistol. He ran past the cover. He's just trying to jump off the bridge right now. We're gonna stop him before he gets into the water supply. Okay? I think if I move up, maybe uh, Obert can take a shot here. Maybe. I'm gonna move up to here. I'm on the move. Ober can get to the shot, yes. Moving. Take the take him down. Come on, Ober, take him down. He's down. Uh, operational spent. objectives completed. It's finally over. Operation Dr Get off this screen before the car blows up. Operation Driving Blade is finally over. A five hour operation. Once you count the support elements coming in afterwards and cleaning up all the bodies, a five hour operation. A 17 wound day scout. Dies, almost dies. Black Dragon, wounded for thir- wait, what? Oh, he was fatigued. Black Dragon wounded for 13 days. He was too tired to hit anyone on that mission. Johnny Lump, five keyboards, broken in half right now. He's missing two windows in his office. They're both gone on either side. Okay? JC Lewis has been thrown out of one of these windows for being the messenger who walked in and said he, he's, he's won the mission, sir. He just got thrown out of the third window by Johnny Lump. Okay, but he's okay. He's used to it. He's bounced back. Castle Lump in chaos right now. Castle Beads. Feeling good. Okay? So, we're gonna have a scout sniper, which is good. To replace uh, dies in the other wounded scout. We're gonna need another scout there. So Obrek. Obrek a hell of a shot. But uh, a hell of a clutcher as well. Scuba Steve to weapons. You gotta be a gunner Scuba Steve because you're a hell of a shot. I need you suppressing right now. Rooster had his chance to get promoted. I mean I would have promoted him on the spot. For the machismo he showed. Rooster is the guy who came in with the flank when no one else was prepared. In our darkest hour. When we've fallen back into the half cover to break loss. But of course, now we're in half cover. They've got full cover. It's a big problem. We knew that trade-off. Alright. Rushta dives straight back in once we reap the benefits of their out of position. To go in for that flank. To save. Dies to save everyone. And right? he almost died for it. That guy has got sectoids just crawling all around him. They're crawling on his head. Like little babies. And he lived. He's the boy who lived, so, and he didn't get promoted, but great things are going to happen to Rooster. I'm going to take him on the next mission, probably. Great things are going to happen for Rooster, alright? He's a good guy. Memester, I mean, the less said about Memester, the better. Uh, with those rockets, but... Memester's just meant, meant to be not a rocketeer, you know? Memester was never meant to be a rocketeer. The rockets, off target. Terrible. The worst rockets you've ever seen in your life. The assaulting of the SMG? Good stuff. Strong, aggressive... Good assaulting. Well done. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Eight sectoid corpses, I'm surprised. I tried to blow up a lot more sectoids than that. The rockets just missed. Honestly, Violent, it wasn't on purpose. Three Illyrium. Three alien alloys. Eleven weapon fragments. And I got two meld. You see that, Steve? I got two meld canisters. It's not even difficult. A hundred dollar reduce. And panic in Japan has decreased. Remember... We will be watching. Because we kept their damn bridge alive. And they're, they're real happy about that. Now what does that change? Still got the same amount of scientists. I can build a second satellite, I believe, which I should well do. Needed an assault or something on that mission. I might need another interceptor, I think. How long is it going to take? What, does it take like three days? I think I might need to get another interceptor is what I need, really. Pending rockets. You got 11 days on this one. 
uh, pending pending satellites. 14 days, 17 days. I can't get any of these with the follow-up satellite anyway. I think we should hire another interceptor, get that air fleet going, because we're a little bit fucked up in the air right now. And we need UFOs to train our boys up. So probably going to spend that money, just going to dump it, like a big pile of money, just straight in to another interceptor. Go on, do it. I dare ya, do it. Okay, let's keep going. I gotta take a break to get a drink, go to the bathroom, and read out the subs before the next mission starts, but let's get rolling here. Kettle's back to service, good. All good, baby. All good. As long as we don't have like a, a bomb mission anytime soon. Contact detected. Okay. UFOs are back. Now the court wizard said there's only one more UFO this month. Now I don't like listening to court wizards. I started listening to JC Lewis. Around about the time I started Beta 15. And we all know how that went, alright? That wasn't a good time in my life. So I'm a little iffy about listening to the advice of court wizards. Or court jesters. Or anybody in my court. Alright? I don't like to have a court. I don't like listening to them. Their advice sounds good. But it messes up my brain. Every time I look at a spreadsheet, my testosterone gets lowered by at least half a percentage point, and that's dangerous. Alright? So, I'm gonna listen to Steve, but I'm gonna keep my eyes open. I'm gonna be a little, little, bit, uh, little bit aware of what's going on here. Let's send Moose up on the aggressive avalanche attack. Okay. We're gonna go in for the UFO shoot down. Enemy is padlocked. Brought to you by Papa John's. Okay. Papa bless. All right. Not a big deal right now. A UFO is down with no problems. We got another UFO mission to go on. Let's have a look at that crash site. China Scout UFO free, free. I meant to pronounce it that way, because it's free. It's free. It's free stuff. It's a free house for you, Jim. Okay, we're gonna go out on this operation. Now, let me take a quick look at my... You know what? I'm gonna go grab a drink. Just go to the bathroom real quick. Give me a minute or two. I'll be back. We'll quickly run through the subscribers, the donators, the cheerers, the followers, the supporters. All of them, we're gonna run through them. And then we're getting stuck into this UFO mission. The second mission of the day. I mean, what time is it? I mean, it's almost 1pm. But you know what? I'm embracing how slow we go through missions at this point. I'm down with it. Okay, you can't stop me. Alright. I'm gonna be right back. You listen to this beautiful, classic piece of music. And I'll be right back. I need my cup.
one could stop us. We're unstoppable. How many times I gotta tell her that? All right. Okay. Let's get back into it here. Now let's have a look at our subs, okay? Our sub dubs. Rubber dubber sub. All right. Give me a little music loop here for a second. Let me take a look at my sub dub rub dubs. Sub rubber dub dubs. Okay. Let's go back a little bit. Let's go back five hours when we started that mission. We go back a little while. People are subscribing now. They're pouring in. 20 people just subscribed. A bear with a knife has subscribed. Space Pop for 21 months. Thank you both very much. Tacit Caster has sent 10 pennies my way. Putty UK has donated $5. Putty, stop donating. You're crazy. Alright, you've done enough. You can retire. You've made it in to my good books. You don't have to keep buttering me up like this, but thank you. He says, hey, Beegs, put this donation towards a delicious Domino's pizza. All right. Okay. What? You know what? I can't add the sponsored by Domino's logo that I wanted to do just then. I was typing it up. But Putty UK is just sending $5 to put towards a pizza, which is generous, but he's not a Domino's.com employee. You almost got me. You almost got me. But thank you for your donation nonetheless, Putty. Gojira has sent 10 bits. Zero sum game cheered a thousand bits. Thank you for your pennies. 2 by 2 arcs subscribed for three months in a row. Zero sum game again of a hundred pennies. Viva La Teddy has subscribed. Zero sum game, he's just throwing pennies in. One after the other. Penny, penny, three pennies. He's showering me in them. Eight pennies. This guy's nuts. He went to the bank and he got all his paper money converted into pennies for this stream. He was prepared. Dara Westlex has subscribed. Thank you. Mr. Awidapapa. Okay. He's donated $10. Wow, I can smell it. Remove sectoid from the premises. You will get caught. I agree. Sectoid is the worst stink. Remove sectoid. Taffa1992 has subscribed. Shout out to Dacronon. Curtain has subscribed. And that's not Curtain of a C-U-R-T-A-I-N. K-E-R-T-E-N-1 has subscribed. Thank you, Curtain 1. Lich Smash for 10 months. Pig General. I read that as Piganal. Has reached this guy for 16 months. Bacon Hero. Cheered with a bit. Zavago, DT. The Doctor himself. Donated $14.20. Murder Memester. That was his mention. Murder Memester. Thank you for your fourteen twenty donation on this auspicious day. Thank you very much. I will try to fulfill your request. Vote Pyro for Prez. We've subscribed for nine months in a row. Congratulations on your sub baby. Vote Pyro for Prez. Fuzzy Wolf twenty three has subscribed. Welcome. And Potato Sar, Potato Czar, Czar, Potato Czar has used five bits and he's hit me right in the face of him. Thank you very much. Race the cow and send in a penny. Let's get back into the action here. Okay, here we go. Slow that music down. Now we got a riparian, light or moderate vegetation. Now if you're not a nerd, okay, if you haven't used Excel before, riparian, it means like trees and shit. And, and water. It's like where frogs live. I think. It's not quite a swamp. I don't think. I don't think it's quite a swamp. I'll think about it. Give me a sec. It's not quite a swamp. I think riparian is like... I mean, who the fuck says that? I think it's like... You could find tadpoles and shit there, but also frogs. Maybe some birds. Some other marsupials. Or something. Maybe some ants. Okay. I... I've already spent too long talking about this word. Alright? Fuck this word. Fuck riparian. But it's, it's what the operation is gonna be. Light or moderate vegetation. Here's a forest map. With some water, probably. So, it could be any of the fucking maps, is what that means. It could be any of the fucking UFO maps that isn't urban. So we're just gonna gear up for a standard small UFO mission. Now, let's have a look. What do I want to take? I need to, I need to level up more scouts. I need more scouts. Considering doing Obrek up a double here. But I can't. 
So what did I get from that mission? Did I get anything extra? I got another gunner. So I think that means I can roll out another weapon specialist into something different. My scouts are just dropping like flies. I just need more scouts. I need another sniper too. Two heavies here. And I have another heavy up here with Boganova. So I can flip one of my heavies into something else. And I can wait 17 hours if I need to take Draven. Let's see what Draven wants to be. I mean, I got plenty of assault already, but okay, fine. If you want to be an assault, be an assault. I do like assaults. Probably not coming on this mission, though. Well, actually, if I had a scout, <laughs> I might, I'd might take one of my existing assaults. Johnny Lump. Might take the Johnny Lump man on this mission. Might also take Boganova, another gunner. Can't get a sniper, let's take an LMG gunner with Boganova. B Cypher asks, Beagle, how many pennies do I need to throw at you until you recruit me for the XCOM project? I mean, I think you're in the list, Cypher. I could be wrong. I think you're in the list. So, I mean, it's it's not up to me. Bradford handles the recruitment, so you got to go butter him up. Alright, it's not my job. Boganova with the LMG. It's going to leave us a couple more slots. I need to get more people trained up here. But it's going to leave us maybe a couple slots. Claymore's going to be another infantry with me, I think. I should probably get Johnny Lump promoted a bit. Maybe take Duke? I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to take a Rocketeer here. My promotion game is not very strong right now. I'll freely admit it. Maybe we take the Lump Man. Broken over Lump. Okay. Maybe an NG? Or maybe an Assault instead. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford the Scout for this operation. Which ain't good. It ain't good. But it's just the nature of the beast here. I'm just going to have to kill him on launch. So we're going to take Cappy in again, I think. Cappy's a good guy. Now where is, uh, what's a who's his face? Rookies get auto-promoted, don't they, on uh, on UFOs because of the outsider if you don't get hit. So we don't want to take Rooster again. And he's, he's out of action right now. He's fatigued anyway. Let's take some old favorites. Boz, Fugs, and then some new blood. Maverick, Durandan, Stoli, Dog Boy, Sonkiro, Lime Strashgan, Makalik, Air, Daishi, Volatile Bullfrog, Justi Justica. I see Justica all the time. You know what, Justica is a, a friend of mine from from uh, back in the TAC, in the Tactical Shed. And he's been subbing, he's been watching. I always think it's always nice to see Justica. He's a true supporter. So we're going to put him in to be a supporter today. Because I don't think we've ever had a, I don't think we've ever had a Jessica in one of our campaigns. He keeps showing up. I don't think we've ever used him. Make those items available. Now Boganova is going to be a gunner. Absolutely, Lady Bogues. Boganet. Get that suppression. Frozen Shepherd says, "Are you going to be ready for the landed large UFO?" Probably not. I haven't got a great track record of the large landed UFOs. Uh, there's your hair. Ever since Beta 15 onwards, we might have to give it a go. Okay. Medkit, yes. We'll get back to you. Infantry assault, you're already geared up. Johnny Lump, the redhead infantry. From uh, whatever little Scandinavian country that is. I don't keep track. Is that. I don't think it's Denmark. It's not Holland, is it? It's not Sweden. I know it's not Sweden. It's not Switzerland. It's, it's like H. Is that Holland? Finland. Hubris Bliss says it's Finland. Well, there you go. Okay. I don't like going to Newfoundland. Zivago says Far Faroe Islands. Norway. It's literally Norway? Well, there you go. Okay. Maybe he's Norse. 
It's one of those countries up there in that little pocket of little European countries with good internet and education, okay? Love them. Can't tell them apart. He's one of them. It doesn't matter which. I don't see color. I, I do. I just don't know geography. Point is, maybe put some, some drummy mags on him so he can keep on slaying. Maybe take the med kit so he can keep on slaying. And he can heal himself up if he gets slayed back. Devangelon says, how much chat interaction does Beagle do? You just found out. Okay? That much. Cappy with the high speed. Low drag. With the ceramic, with the flashbang. Ready to go. Which one of those little countries is the one that has, like, the rotting fish in the tin? For, like... Uh, for like five years, uh, scanner, scan, what what the hell is the word for it? Isn't that is that is that Norway? Uh, the one Slappy Moose ate a bunch of and then vomited. You guys are disgusting. That shit's nasty. No, it's not time to gimmick the soldiers yet. So strumming, that's it. So strumming's fucked up. You guys are weird. I'm gonna give Fugelman a motion tracker. Jessica, another motion tracker. Give Jessica actually the other, the other med kit. Let him play back a little bit. We'll give Buzz the other motion tracker. Buzz and Fugelman, they've switched genders, double trouble. Alright. Bogues ready for the LMG. Change that AP grenade route for something else. Maybe another med kit? I don't know. Maybe a smoke grenade? It is good to have the AP in case drones come in and you can't take a shot. Johnny Lump. We got too many med kits already, actually. Johnny Lump. Maybe can get rid of one of the med kits. Although we might need the extra med kit considering, uh... All the Overwatch bullshit that's about to happen. Someone needs to bring a smoke grenade. I think is what I'm seeing here. Maybe another flashbang over here for the outsider on Justicar. I wouldn't mind bringing a smoke grenade on someone. Maybe I'm bogan over. Maybe I'm bogan over. Although you can suppress someone though, so that's just... That's just stupid. Can anyone here take a smoke grenade? Buzz? Eh, not really. Fugelman, not really. Jessica, not really. Eh. F fuck it. We don't need a smoke grenade. We got Boganova with the the big 240, all right? AR on Johnny Lump. Couple of med kits. Drum mags on Johnny Lump. He's got that extended mag loaded in, good to go, just like PUBG. Shotgun on the assault. Cappy gonna kill the outsider for us. A smattering of grenades. A couple of flashbangs. It's good enough. It's good enough. All right, let's get in there. Strike one. Second mission of the day, let's go. Can we get a third Heading mission of the day? I don't know. Operation. Maybe. The downed UFO is in it's a possible. area outside a small town. If we can secure the crash site, we should be able to prevent any civilian casualties. Operation Red Hammer. Which is also the name of Operation Flashpoint's first expansion pack and mission pack. It's also a bad omen. Let's get down there, let's see what we can do. Affirmative, Big Sky. Strike one is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. Top Spec says, Bigs and Jam, don't take this the wrong way, but do you think you'll actually win this campaign? If I didn't think I'd win it, I wouldn't be playing it. Alright? Why would I start a campaign I don't think I'm gonna win? No, I don't know. I... 
I'm feeling about... Maybe a 98% likely will win this campaign. Alright. I might upgrade that to a solid 100. If I get better. Okay. Because I'm still playing at like a first grade level here. This isn't even where I need to be at for Long War yet. I'm still playing like a little baby. So right now, 98%. We might try to upgrade that to 100%. And I think there's a 100% chance I'm going to upgrade my 90% to 100% through training throughout the next few weeks. So I'd say combined, it's like a 99%. No. It's like 101% we're going to win, I think. Okay, we got our boys ready. We've deployed in the middle, bottom side, for me, bottom side, of the map. Got our boys on either side. We're going to need to motion track up. I need to stretch my little fingers out to either side, looking for the mail on either side of this map. Overall, I mean, I like this map, you know, and I also hate this map. You know, I, I don't really feel either. It's a neutral map. This isn't a map that's easy, it's not a map that's hard. Because different parts of this map give you different opportunities. If you're on the right, it can be a hell of a map. If you're over here, I mean, this can be a hellhole of a map. If you're on the left, like, down, ignoring this corner, if you can get into the middle and the side, it's not so bad. But we want to go everywhere, we want to go look for the melds, so... We don't really have the... the luxury to only take the good parts of the map. So we'll pop a motion tracker. We'll get up here and we'll see what we can do. Heading to that location. Meld on our left, we're going straight for it. We're going straight for that meld. Woo! Motion tracker is the best thing we have ever been given. Okay. So they're over here. Like behind this tree or some shit. Okay. You know, it reminds me, I saw some complaints from people saying, The camera's too big. We can't see all that important information in the bottom left. You know, we can't see all this shit. I'm just gonna get out of the way for a second, I'm gonna let you take a look. Okay. There you go. Just move, just move the mic. Okay, so that's his name. That's Boz. Okay. There's Cappy. He's an assault, did you know that? Oh, there's Johnny Lump. An infantry. I didn't know that. I couldn't see past myself. Here's Fugelman. Fugelman's a rookie. Apparently this one's name is Boganova. I didn't know that. Because I couldn't see the name. All this important information I'm blocking. Did you know that shit? This one's named Jessica. I didn't know that. Had no clue. I'm the important shit. Fuck the name. You see the name when I select them. I'm important. Look at me. Every time you should, you want to look down there at the bottom left to remind yourself that the infantry has light them up because you're an idiot, look at me instead. Give me your attention. I'm the important one here. Now we need to make sure we don't activate on the left. Let's get JL up. I think we need to get Boganova dashed up to this tree. Let's get moving towards that meld. I think I need to get JL up to this position. Right there, right there. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. You can do it, you can do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we're looking Good. for. Melds in uh melds in eyesight, it's in vision. Fugerman moving up. Justica moving up. We're on the move. Now, do I move these boys up or do I overwatch for those potential sectoids coming in from the left? I think I overwatch for the potential sectoids coming in. Because they could be coming in hard, and I'd never know. Okay. We're gonna keep on moving on that meld. I'm gonna move people up motion tracking. Expertly. You think it's gonna activate? I don't think it's gonna activate. Okay. But we'll go to the right anyway. I want to make sure there's not going to be any accidental activations here. 
So move Boz up. It's clean gravy. There's nothing up here. This is uh, the cleanest milk canister we've ever gone towards. Ooh, don't go that way. That wouldn't be clean. We got millions of time. This canister, it's in the bag. Okay. Now let's bring uh, JL around. Get out of this fucking marsh land. We don't want to be here. Move up Bogan up. Not there. No, 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 no. Move up Bogan over to a good position. Heading there now. Move him to there for right now. Move up the boys and the girls. Catch up. We got that meld next turn. We got that meld money. Maybe. Maybe not. I might move up Cappy to here. Okay, it's fine. I knew I couldn't get spotted from there from the motion tracking. I was just... I'm paranoid. I get a little scared. Let's uh, commit forward a little bit here. Actually... Let's just overwatch here. Oh good. Okay, we got more pot on the right. Can I get this meld? Because it's on a, it's on a little bit of a slope here. I'm a little worried. Keep motion tracking, because I got contact on my right and that worries me a little bit. I want you to move up to here, Buzz. What do we got? Okay, okay, okay. So we got one pod to the left. Back this way, look. Camera guy, this way. There you go. Back here, at the start. I think this is a second pod. I don't think it's the same pod keeping pace. I think this is a second pod on my left. Okay, it's like, uh... Yeah, I mean, that's gotta be a different pod. Right where the UFO is. I got another pod on my right. So we got three pods? That's probably all the pods. That's probably all of them right now. I'm gonna try... And get Cappy in position for this uh, juicy good stuff. Heading to that location. There's the other pod. Okay. What is that? Two. I see two guys. Probably more. I just can't see them on the, ex uh, the extra range of the motion tracker. Two guys up here on the north. So we probably want to grab this meld. Hit the guys on the right first. Wheel back around. Take out the left. Take out the middle. Take the UFO. The middle and the left, they can interchange depending on how high energy I'm feeling. The right guy's gotta go first. Now, I don't know if I can get this meld or not. I'm about to get real upset, I think. I got it. Okay. All good. Johnny Lump can move up. We probably want to flank around a little bit. Although, there's probably another meld canister out here as well. I'd like to keep motion tracking as I move up here. To see exactly where it is. Aye, aye, Commander. I'm gonna put the Bogue man, or the Bogue woman, up there. Get that high ground LMG position. Oh, you can't peek from there in uh, XCOM, two, uh, XCOM 1, I forgot. Come down. Come down. Jessica rolling up. Okay. Eyes on the prize. Pistole. Okay. We're gonna get through this second mission and play a third mission today. So that Steve has something to talk about in his next video. He can't review two missions, that's gonna be too short. Now give me, uh... Where do you wanna move to next? That's probably gonna activate. So we probably wanna start getting our rookies going around on the side. Let's get Fugelman starting to move. Just go on the right. The Johnny Lumps. Not activating. All good. Bogan over to the side. Yes, sir. Boz, maybe joining Cappy up here on the high ground. On my way. Okay. Got it covered. Getting ready here. Scanning. Maybe even coming down here. We'll see. Base of fire back here in the tree trunks. Are they getting closer? Hopefully not. Oh, they're close. 
Well, they're real close. We don't want to go high ground. They're real close. Do not go high. Alright, no contact yet. Interesting. Very interesting. Roger that. No contact yet? Okay. I believe you. You don't have to force me. I believe you aliens. You're not out there. I don't know you're there. Okay, you got me. Moving to position. I'm gonna bring Cappy back down. Bring Boganova over to the side so there's no flanking action going on in Boganova. Good. That gives us better fire on their flank. It also means the other pods aren't going to hear the noise, come up on our side and hit Boganova. Keep on moving it up. I'm tempted to spam another motion track, but I think I'm going to need that later. So we're not going to do it just yet. We're starting to run out of good cover here, though. A motion track could tell me if I could take the high ground here. Fuck it. Hmm. Okay. Getting interesting. Put the JL Meister here. Bring Boz across. Aye, aye, Commander. All right. Cappy, hold there for right now. I'm on it, Commander. The Lum Monster's in place. We're wheeling around. We're swinging like a door. I'm on the move. Boganova's coming in in the rear with the gun. You see there. Just a car here on the side, overwatching, <laughs> creeping with our guns up feel, through the riparian terrain. Okay. They're gonna make the decision for us. We're gonna have act contact from the left. Walking up on us. One shot, one opportunity, and we didn't capture it. Shot failed to connect. Okay, they're dancing on the left. We need motion tracking now to make our next moves. Because I don't know if another pod's gonna come around right on the right or if that was the same pod. I need tracking. I need live tracking. So we're gonna run up. I'm not seeing anybody on the right anymore. Might be the same pod coming around. What the hell is that? That's that's the sight radius, okay. That cat's flankable. Get a Fugs down here. Scout it out. I can run a gun up here, I can maybe take a boy down. Let's get the Lump Meister in place. Got it covered. To deal out some lumps. Let's have a look. Okay. Along this line. One guy on the right. So that's the that's the rightmost one, I'm guessing. Or maybe there's another one down there. No, he's, no, no. This is the rightmost one up here on the motion tracker, okay? Down here. Looks like another one right behind. Okay. Then to the left by a couple of tiles. Probably another one over here. And then your last sectoid, he's probably over in this position. Maybe even closer. Can't quite see. So I can probably put the shotgunner in position to take this flank. As long as I secure my left flank afterwards. I gotta start moving on that left flank and securing it. Or, I send in Cappy, get him ready to take advantage of the rest of them. Maybe the smarter play. I mean, that's, that's a flankity, dankity, probably killy, though. I mean, that's probably good. And then that's going to break loss. That's going to make him be little morons. So, probably the best thing to do is to kill that one. We need to get more people in position to cover, though. Absolutely. Boganova's going to have to bring that LMG around. Going to have to wheel it around. Got it moving. On a little gun truck she's got. And a flank on him now. Justica, probably gonna move to here, get some overwatch. Justica's not moving there. Okay, left click bug strikes again. High octane lumpage right now. Okay, different plan. Bring Buzz in close. 
Let's bring Cappy up for a second. This is 62. It's a solid hit. Avanzo alla posizione di tiro. Take the 68. Dead. We've broken loss. I would like to get Boz in position for an Overwatch here. If that's okay. If I'm allowed to do that. Okay. Jessica, I'd like you to run up. Spoko. Spoko. Okay. I'm on it. Take a couple of Overwatches. Let's see what the sectors want to do here. Not a lot. They're confused. Hmm. Okay. We need to keep motion tracking as we uh, swing around on these guys. Because I need to clear this left side. For real. I don't trust this left side at all. Okay, there's our two boys right there. So between them, lined up against this wall, we had a whole boatload of sectoids. Now I can move Fugle up here, but that's getting a little aggressive. I think the motion tracker won't save us from maybe activating a, a left pod that way. What the hell is all this shit? Little lilies? Never looked at them before. Huh. Maybe I bring myself just around to the left here. I can kind of check that left side. Looking okay. Looking alright. If we move Cappy up here, it's getting a little aggressive. Might hit that... That potential outsider activation. So I'm gonna bring Cappy to the okay. side. Okay. We need to keep moving people up. Probably start wheeling our rooks around on the left. Cappy's here to hold the front of the shotgun. Johnny Lump, holding strong. Okay? He's not gonna be moved. I bring my rooks around the side of the grenades. They can do the flanking. Let the work experience, kids. Get the work experience. That's key. Already there. Boganova, not doing a lot right now, but if I bring her around the left, maybe, just maybe, she can start to think about getting a, uh, Running. an enfilade fire with the machine gun. Which I hear is good with machine guns. Overwatch, Overwatch. Three sectoids left. Hey, sentito qualcosa? Here's one now. Okay, there's a boy. Hunkered down in the heavy cover of that rock wall. I hear drones out there constantly. Mine mergers are happening. This idiot's just showing me where all his friends are. Like a fucking clown. But I already knew they were there, so it's no big deal. Now, I've only got one motion tracking left at this point. I don't really want to spend it here, but I kind of have to to know how hard I can go right now. I mean, can I see you if I move up here? No, I can't. That's a problem. But I think it's time to use my last motion track. Roll on up on these cats. Okay. Just once and for all, make sure this left flank's gonna be clear. It's looking clear. I don't know where these pods are. I got some grenades. I, I don't, actually. Turns out I don't have some grenades. But I got some other grenades. I can run Jessica up here. No sweat. Now I've got some grenades. Now, Cappy. Can you see the half cover guy from there? You can't. Okay. You might even... That guy might even shoot you from there, so watch out. I think it's time for an AP grenade on these little cats. These little idiots. They deserve an AP grenade, but let's see where everyone else can move up to first here. Boz can just get to this position for a follow-up, maybe. I don't think they should get too flanked then after that. But we'll see. I'm on it, Commander. We'll move Boz up. Now Boz has got the double? The double? Not the double, the single. Gonna take the grenade from just the car. Should catch all three of them, I think. Caught all three of them. Now I think if we kill that mine merging sector, that last one's probably dead. 
unfortunately, I don't think we can hit this sector of any more APs. Maybe we can get someone else to move in. Boganova's got the last AP to solve this puzzle, I think. To solve this uh, Jenga. Oh, not quite, not quite. Unless you can, like, maybe... I don't think you can throw from there, so that's a shame. That's an issue. And that was a great grenade. Wasn't that a great grenade? That was beautiful. Mm hmm. Depends if you can throw over that wall, which I don't think you can. But I'm gonna give it a good old try. You know what? I'm gonna give it a go. Oh, well, Boganova's a genius. Okay. Okay, a one and a two and a... Hoorah! One after the other. They just fall like clowns. That's it. He didn't even need his gun. Alright, Boganova doesn't even need her gun right now. She's just slaying with the triple kill. No promotion? Are you kidding me? Almost. Almost a promotion. She's gonna get the promotion. Alright. Hell of a trooper, Boganova. Hell of a trooper. Now we can keep on moving up. Motion Tracker says... Motion Tracker says we're fine to keep on moving up. Okay. Motion Tracker says we're fine. That's why we trust the Motion Tracker. Because you... Generally, as long as you don't move your full move, you're not gonna get spotted, even if something comes up on the scope. So we still got a pot on the left. Maybe the drones. That was the first pub we fought, right? Okay. That was the first pub we fought. So there's probably still... That was probably the right one. And there's probably still one back here. And then one's on the left. Or... Could be that the ones on the north have fallen back behind the UFO and we got south far, north far. But we never need to get in position with the LMG. Boys need to start coming over in this direction. And we need to start slaying. Bring you over. Let's get our boys activated over here. Let's get moving. Everything by the numbers. Running in the 90s. Let's go to JL. Understood. Moving out. Okay, good signs. And that was our last motion track. That's that's all we had left. We're going to keep moving our guys up. Our guys and gals. I think Boganova can maybe make it to... Well, I hope a better position. That'll have to do. Let's cover. Let's screen for her. Heading out. Johnny Lump needs to get over to that position over there. Heading to that location. That location, you that's right. Level. Cappy, got to keep coming up. Get ready to slay. He came to conquer. But we're gonna have ready with the LMG up here. Okay. Stepping off. Take a reload. If this is drones, I'd rather be steadying my weapon, but I don't know what it is yet. Might be drones. What the hell was that? Outsider. Oh, there's another mill in that direction, so we want to get a move on here. <sighs> we bring Jessica up to here. No activation yet. Surprising, but okay. I'm on the move. Gonna bring Boz in. Can't quite get JL to where I want to get him to. No activation if I go there. So we're going to bring the lump man up. Yes, sir. Get him ready. I'm rolling. Bogan over. Ready to go. We're just moving in slow. On whatever the hell's in this marsh. I don't know. I don't know what the hell's in the marsh. Just because we're going to move up. We still could have contact on our right. We can't completely forget about that. 
We're crossing. Aye, aye, Commander. Getting across, yeah. I'm gonna move up Fugs. Put Boganova in a firing position, ready to go. Ready to slay. Sectoids. I hate these guys. But not drones. Another meld's dead. Fuck it. Now we can take all the time we want. I'm happy it's dead. I got my one can for the day. I'm not greedy. Now I can take as long as I want. The joke's on you. I wanted that to happen. Now you can move up. Once Cappy moves, you can move up as well. So we're getting ready to go up and slay these little kids. Metaphorically. Not real kids. Don't get worried. Let's move up Fugelman for the activation. They've just been sitting there. What have they been doing? Catching fish? Stomping tadpoles? What are they doing? I have no idea. I don't care. I'm gonna kill them. Let's uh, see if we can activate some flanks here. Okay, no activations on our right. Excellent. Excellent. Magnificent. Oh. Baby, baby, baby. Oh. Oh, no. Take that for a start. Kill that sector, I'll be a happy man. Okay. <laughs> They're just making this too easy right now. Is this bait? Is JL baiting me right now? Am I being JL baited? What is going on? Can I get another flank on that guy? What's going on? Hang on, I didn't even look. That one's gonna run from the suppression, so you know what? Can you suppress that one? Yeah, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Cappy, go kill this one. Bring that shotgun in. Deader than Disco. Ciao, ciao. Take back this marsh from the Martians right now. We're gonna get that suppression running. Lay it on! Aye, aye. Light them up. I like that sound. Overwatch. Bring in the Overwatch. On the move. JL, get in there and give me some goddamn Overwatch. Yes, Commander. I feel Commander. This sector ain't got a hope in hell. That's a guarantee. That's a Papa John's guarantee. His best move is to sit still and die five seconds later. He's not taking it. X-ray neutralized. Slow motion slayed. These kids aren't even playing the right game right now, alright? They think we're still in XCOM 2 or something. I'm not playing anymore. I'm back. Okay? I'm playing at 5% of my potential. But that's still 4% more than these sectoids require. Okay? We're in March. Let's not forget. Let's not lose perspective here. Gonna bring Cappy up. I do love me some LMG. On the move. I do declare. Fugelman up. On my way. I'm rolling. That's the real secret, isn't it? You gotta freak them out. Maybe the sectoids are little nerds too. Maybe they got little spreadsheets and shit. You know? Maybe they're running off their own little numbers. Okay, not like XCOM 2 where they're literally running off a spreadsheet. I mean, these guys, they're a little bit more lifelike. They're referencing a spreadsheet. That's why you can panic them. That's why you can freak them out. Because they're, they're trying to read the spreadsheet. They're trying to look at you. They're trying to look at the flanks you just pulled. Another flank. Another one. Another flank. What the hell do we do? The, the spreadsheet goes out the window. Okay? That guy is looking at the math. He's like, well, my best chance of survival is to take a dash, I guess, and, and run away. I, you know what? I don't leave you a chance of survival. That's not the point. There's not meant to be a chance of survival. 
Your spreadsheets can't save you. When you have a 0% chance to live. I start to feel bad for him, these sectoids. Take an over- uh, no, no, take a reload. I don't hand out a lot of reloads, so... Treasure them when you get them. The fuck was that noise? I think that's a drone or some shit. Just go gonna clear that left for us. Buzz! Take that position. Okay, we've cleared a little avenue, like a runway, for us to walk up through now, where we're not gonna activate, hopefully. Cappy's moving in. Because we still had a pot over in this direction, don't forget. Don't get it twisted. I'm gonna move Lump here. Okay, we're good. And then Boganova in behind. Covering from the little gnarled... Marsh... Shrek tree stumps or whatever. Little Shrek houses or something. Little stone hinges. Say, I mean, we've done this a million times before, haven't we? Feels like home. Okay. I don't need that. I'm trying to have a moment right now of nostalgia. I don't need the drones to come in and ruin it. Look at that beautiful sunset, though. That's nice. Is that two drones on the ground? What the hell are you doing? Why is there two drones on the ground right now? Is this some kind of sick joke? Damn, Johnny Lump. You jobbing right now. He's making these drones land in front of him because he's their master. He's making it look easy for himself. He's the drone king. Which would make him marry the Queen Sally, which is weird. I don't think he's married to her. He's metaphorically the drone king. He's the drone lord. Where can you go, Cappy? Let's put... Cappy up here. Maybe no, maybe no more activations. Okay. I need to run and gun the flying one. No one else can see it. I need to see it. So I'm going to move Buzz. Let's move Fugelman up to here. <laughs> the Breton one asks, will Sally ever return? Nobody knows. Alright, she disappeared through that portal to the Shadow Realm using that floater as fuel. We haven't seen her since. I mean, time-wise, that one floater probably going to only have enough blood to sustain her for... Drones are very efficient. But she's a big drone, maybe maybe a couple of years. She's got to resurface soon, is what I'm saying. She doesn't have much longer submerged in the Shadow Realm. There's only so much food she's got using that floater as a blood bag. I got a 70 spin on this drone. A 70 s suspense. That drone just bled. I don't trust robots. That drone just bled. Capybara got to move up. Can you see around this? No, you can't. That's why we got this mod. I'm gonna put you right there and just pray the outside editor isn't gonna see you, because I don't think he should. Okay, no outsider. Good. Take the shoot gun. 100%. Nothing but success today. Except for the first mission. There was a little bit of not success there. Moving up, Buzz. 78 on Buzz. Easiest kill of my life. Now we're in position to set up Bogan over on the door. Go in, take that outsider out. Let's get moving. On the move. Jessica, gonna keep holding that left. Easy peasy. Drone D sheets, another drone hero we haven't seen in a long time. We took him back to base, so I guess he's not going to show up again because he's happy back at base after the war. Wait, did Drone D Sheets die for us or did he live? I can't remember. Did Drone D Sheets die so that we could live? I know he went on that crazy Overwatch spree. Did he die so that we could live? Or did he live and come back to base? I can't remember. I think he might have died. I think he lived. I think Drone D Sheets lived. I think that was the stupidest thing. He lived. 
<laughs> then Shen put a bolt in them. That might have been a different drone, I can't remember. <laughs> that does ring a bell. Поехали. Moving up on the left. No outsider yet. I'm on it, Commander. The Bogues getting in position. No outsider yet. It was off camera. It's an off camera death. And if I know anything about off camera deaths, you're not really dead if you die off camera. The scriptwriter is just waiting to bring you back. So maybe we'll see drone D sheets again. I'm on it, Commander. I don't, I couldn't tell you. I don't actually know for sure. I don't write the scripts for Thursday Night XCOM, so I don't know. Heading out. Anything could happen, folks. It's a new season. Let's rock. HM Gil Papuri says, No, Shen told us that Drone D Sheets went to a farm with all the other drones where he can fly and flank rookies all day long. It's just like Drone Heaven, where there's like uh, 50 rookies on Overwatch with good shots against a sectoid, like one tile away from them about to run. And then the drones. It's just coded so they never they never get hit by the overwatches and the drones just fly in. Just clearing overwatches all day. Drone heaven. Imagine the euphoria. The euphoria of being a drone and clearing 50 overwatches at once and not dying. It must be like sex for drones. Maybe it's better that they go to drone heaven. Maybe it's kinder. Let's do this. <laughs> What's making that noise? Outside up ahead. Boz is gonna move in for us. Out. We're to get Bogues and Lump on the door. And then we probably gotta run the rest around to the left. Let's run like a, a rook to the left. Everything by the Let's run the rest of the team around to the left. Maybe get the rook, uh, the assault by the door. Yabba da ba da ba yabba da ba do. I think is what he said. On my way. We need Jessica in close to the flashbang anyway. Cappy around on the side. That feels good. I pity women and effeminate men who cannot know the joy of stroking a beard that is their own. It's a beautiful feeling. It really stimulates the mind. Whew. Unless you got like a ratty ass dirty beard, then that's just gonna feel bad. Clean your beard. I get a lot of blood in my beard from all the combat. I have to clean it often. Three scrubbings a day. Two scrubbings today, I can't do my midday one because we're streaming. Let's take Boz around to the right. No, let's take him around to the left. I'm rolling. They should make fake beards that women can wear. And effeminate men with low testosterone. So they can feel it too. I think everyone should get to feel a beard. Got it covered. Not someone else's, your own. You gotta feel it. White out mouse says, I can't grow a beard, but I got a full head of hair. Oh boy. Yeah, no, there's one every week. There's one every week, isn't there? Every week, every week someone's gonna take a shot. You know what? Hey, take a, take a good look. Hey, take a picture. Take a damn picture of it. Alright? This is the bald head that saves you every night. You get to go to sleep. Because I'm out here saving your life. Okay? Take your shots. I'll be taking mine on aliens that want to kill you. And how much hair are you going to have then when you're locked in the tank, huh? In the tank where they jam the, the tube up your genitals in the alien base that you see. Going to be one of those guys? Shut the fuck up, alright? You're on thin ice, white out mouse. Thin ice. Thin ice! Okay, I got to move on. I got to do this mission. Bring Jessica down. I gotta, I gotta bring Boganova down. On my way. Fugum, let's just hold for a second. Pause, hold. Uh, hold right there. Okay. Yeah. 
Jalik says his ice is thin, is the ice as thin as here. Ban him. Ban Jalik. Time him out. Time him out for 100 seconds right now. Get him, Cypher. Get him. Get Jalik right now. All right? We're putting a stop to this. It's a slippery slope. One person makes fun of your hair, everyone thinks they can do it. Put him down. Get the riot hose. Rest of this mission, I'm calling a moratorium. Anyone makes a bold joke, Cypher, you time him out for 100 seconds. All right? The riot hose is out. Get him. Don't be panicked, Cypher. Get him! This is what you trained for! Get him! You don't even know which target to get right now. What are you even doing, Cypher? Come on! <laughs> don't let Cheesman get away with it. He's making a little pun there. I see it. You think you're being subtle? Get Dr. Cheesington, Cypher. They think they can make fun of me. I am the law. We're gonna put Johnny Lump. Ooh, whoa, 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 don't go there. We're gonna put Boganova on this door. Cappy on the side. Jail's gonna start moving up. Okay. I apologize for the slow rate at which you're being exterminated right now. I'm all over. For your hurtful opinions, B Cypher. I've been trying to train him to just pull the trigger on people. He still hesitates. He panics. He's a rookie mod. He's been here for like six months, a year now. I don't know. He's still got a lot to learn. If Taters was here, that guy would be dead. I don't mean banned, he'd be dead. Taters knows you never hesitate. You just ban the guy straight up. That's right, he'll get there. I'm gonna bring Fugelman around on the left. I gotta start steadying my aim. Jessica's got a flash. Steady that aim. Okay, we're in good position here. What was that sound? Okay. Jessica's gonna get ready with the flash with Cappy. I'm gonna bring him around the side. Cappy, ready to go at the door. Don't left click because you'll activate the door. We're gonna bring Fugelman around the left. Real calm. Real calm over here with Fugelman. Easy, easy. Easy, kids, easy. Buzz. I'm on it, Commander. Gonna come back to the exact same shit around the side. He's right there in the middle. What was that sound? We know where he is. We're going in for him. I'm gonna maybe bring Cappy around to the left here. But first, move up Fugelman on the side. Go to the mailed canister. Okay! Hearing completely wrong, but it's okay. Yeah, 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 shut up everyone! Okay, I'm thinking. Fuck him up with the shotgun. I'm done thinking. Do they have the bullshit yet? They don't have the bullshit yet. Fuck him up. Fuck this boy up right now. Fuck him in the... It's not for access o'clock, I can say it. Fuck him in the taint right now, okay? I need some... I need some taint fucking on this outsider. I don't even know if they got one. That could just be armor. I don't even know if they have one. Okay, there it is, that little area right there, the grundle. Okay. They've got one, and you're gonna shoot him in it. Bye bye. Okay. Who wants to kill him? Who needs a promotion here? Fugelman. Should get the promotion already. Johnny Lump's already promoted. Boganova already promoted. Buzz feeling fine. Jessica feeling fine. Fugelman from downtown with the 20%. Never mind. Shot. 
Johnny Lamp's ready to take him. Let's get Jessica in the corner. Spocker. It's a hundo percento, so I'm not worried. Bogan over from downtown. Easy! All mission objectives complete. Hoorah! Easy for Boganova. Boganova's on the fast track right now. Now that was a nothing but success mission, alright? That was some nothing but success shit right there. Operation Red Hammer. We hammered those aliens in the dick, more like. That was easy. Excellent work, Commander. Woo! I'm impressed you were able to recover so much of the melt substance without any casualties. Oh, Valen loves me. All right. Shen loves me because I just brought back an, uh, a UFO. Shen's daughter loves me already because her dad does. I don't even know it yet. She's not even born yet. Wait. 2015. 2025. 2035. She's probably not even born yet. Okay. No, she probably is. I didn't know. We don't know about her yet. She doesn't talk about her much. Bradford loves me. The troops love me. Everyone loves me right now. Okay. Ajaxify says I love the new production value. Fancy background. Thank you, Ajaxify. I'm glad. I love the production value myself. I enjoy being on the show right now. So we got a Lance Corporal, Lance Corporal, Lance Corporal. Weapons. Support, Scout Sniper. Thank God, Jessica, another Scout Sniper. We need you. Where have you been? We needed you. Five sector corpses, three drone wrecks, five Illyrium, eleven alien alloys, nine weapon fragments, eleven meld. We got two UFO flight computers, damage and UFO power source damage. We can just sell that shit right up, just straight away. Let's go sell it up. And that was our second mission. Okay. What the hell time is it? We probably got time for one more mission, right? One more mission. Okay. 25 sectoid corpses. I got sectoids coming out of my ass right now. And that is not where you want them to be coming out of. So we got a lot of sectoids right now. I got two engineers if I can make a satellite in the next 29 days. Do I want to go to Canada though? No. Not really. I guess I could take Mexico. I could take Mexico with my satellite. Canada. I mean, you want to get that air game bonus early on, right? I think. So we can... That could be good. We need to get a satellite going. We need to sell a bunch of shit. We need to go to North America. Hell yeah. Okay, so we need to sell a bunch of shit. Nothing to report at the moment. Boards are clear. We need to get that next month. We're going to North America, boys and girls. So we need to make a bunch of dollary dues right now. How much was it? Like a... 25? 25 days for the satellite, right? So we need to sell all of our sectoid corpses. All of them, gone. Flight computer, it didn't even exist. You know, it's probably gone already. Should I, should I sell a flight computer? I don't know. Let's keep some sector corpses. Just a few. Let's sell some Illyrium, because no one needs it. You don't need Illyrium, it's not very, it's not very useful. You don't really need it. We've been picking up some odd transmissions lately. Some nut calling himself Some drone wrecks. Straker has been all over the news ranting about shadow operatives. Okay. 124. We've got some sector corpses left. We've got some drone wrecks left. We're selling some of the Illyrium because it's useless. No one needs Illyrium. It's a useless resource. You don't need Illyrium. Okay, get it together. You do not need Illyrium. That'll do. Negative. That equipment should be passed on directly to the research team. I'm gonna sell a weapon fragment. You can't stop me. I'm gonna buy a satellite. 25 days. It's on the way. Canada, here we come. We are in dire need of additional scientists in the lab, Commander. Now is not the time to cut back on resources dedicated to our research projects. Hmm. Hello? Yeah, no, yeah. This is Science Warehouse, right? Yeah, okay, good. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I, I did send in the order over the internet. Uh, yeah, you know, I, you know, I, yes, I know. I'm calling up because the scientists haven't arrived yet, okay? Violin's very mad. She's very, very angry. She wants her scientists. When are the scientists gonna get here? Friday, no, that's not good enough, okay? That's tomorrow. 
Next Friday? Are you fucking kidding me right now? She's not gonna be happy. Well, you know what? Maybe we'll find a new supplier, alright? Hey, hey, okay, yeah, no, you go fuck yourself! Alright, yep. Fine. What the fuck ever, okay. Fallen bitches at me? Science warehouse? Is bitching at me? Everyone's bitching at me! Fucked up! Just finish Xenobiology already! I gotta buy another phone? Rename this Interceptor. Grouchy, I am grouchy right now. Grouchy LaDouche. La That's me. That's Grouchy LaDouche Beegs right now. We got a satellite coming though, that's good. I'm happy to have the satellite coming. I think we just keep scanning. Let's keep going. We get that stupid council mission, the proc. Abduction. Probably gonna be the last mission of the day. I'm taking it slow. Look, I start a little bit late, as you know, with the work experience kid. We had the review. Probably gonna start maybe 10 minutes early next week to do the review, maybe. I don't know. Certainly, gonna, certainly not gonna start 20 minutes late, at least. We'll, you know, we'll get into things a little bit quicker next time. I think it's gonna be a three, three mission day again. We're taking it nice and easy. This isn't like, you know, some kind of X-Factor thing going on right here, alright? This is XCOM. We're just relaxing to a sauna. Listen to the ambient music. Okay, imagine you're in this nice, big, spacious room. Just take your clothes off. Let the steam overtake you. No one can see. It's too foggy. Slide into the water. Don't look at the Japanese businessmen around you. Because they're not looking at you, alright? They're looking through you. They're just here to soak. And that's what you should be here to do as well, okay? Don't feel self-conscious. Now, I'm gonna be right back. I had to go to the bathroom. We're gonna do our subs and dubs. Gonna gear up a squad, go on this last mission, alright? I'll be right back. Just soak it in, alright? You're acting like a like an idiot right now. You're making me look bad. Yeah, look, I mean, I, I haven't got one, but if I did, I mean, I, I definitely wouldn't be sticking it up there. You, you know? Okay, okay, okay. Hang on, I'll, I'll be back later. Okay. Alright, now then. Back to the alien reduction. Let's go through our subs and dubs real quick. Just real quick. Start that loot up. That loop. Real quick here. Because they're slowing down. Alright, we don't have to take as long each time. Don't panic. I know you guys there. Ah, eh, Beagle's doing the subs and donations. I hate Twitch TV. Everything bothers me. I'm so angry in my life. I know, okay? I know you're worried. Look, in the time I just berated you, we could have done them all and then it would have been done. So just calm the fuck down and let's just get through them, okay? So let's have a look here. Let's have a look, okay. Racer Cowan has sent me a penny, thank you. Muke has subscribed. Thank you. Thank you very much, Muke. 
Brace the Callum with three pennies. Thank you very much. Yo, Suru. Has resubscribed for six months. Thank you very much. And Mori has subscribed. Miyama's for days, yo. 27 months in a row. Not a hater has subscribed. That's good to know. Thank you. Mambo Guy 2012 has resubscribed for nine months in a row. Oh boy, it's Beeg's Play and XCOM. Congrats on your sub, baby. Mambo. I'm very proud. Exactly has subscribed. Joe Cool 92 has subscribed. Slayer 1994 has donated $25. $25, that's enough for a Papa John's deep dish pizza. Thank you very much, Slayer1994. And he says, been a long time since I've been here. Here's to you, Beegs. Thank you very much, Slayer. Get yourself a, get yourself a nice Papa John's play of the game pizza in honor of tonight's stream. Uh, you've earned it. Shit, you can't do that because you gave me the money. Uh, fuck. Get yourself one in spirit. Thank you very much, Slayer1994. I appreciate it a lot. And Bernie Crumpets have subscribed. Thank you very much, Bernie. And that's it. It's done, alright? It's done. It's over. You don't have to close your eyes anymore. It's all done. Okay? Back into the... What is this? No, I need to listen to it again. I already, I already heard him. Okay? No! no! Stop! <laughs> that's quite a good face, actually. Can you, can you see that? I need to bring that back up now. It just, it just went straight to this face. <laughs> that's a great face. Look, get that out, get that the fuck out of the way, though. We're playing the game. Okay. Gaia Alcyon says, Beagle, did you wash your hands after using the lavatory? Of course I did. Okay? Of course I did. How can you fight aliens when you can't even keep your own body defended from bacteria? Okay? That would be disgusting. Look at these washed hands. Okay? Take a look. Take a look, because you know where they've been, and now you know they've been cleaned. Okay, it's obviously I cleaned them. Obviously. Commander, we have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. Okay. A swarming mission to close the day off. Should be easy. Abduction site in Vladivostok, Russia. I have had nothing but pain from Vladivostok in both XCOM games. Nothing but pain. It's a terrible place to go in XCOM 2. But, it's only a swarming, so it should be fine. $115? I mean, hell, they'll give you an extra $15 because it's swarming. You know, there's twice as many enemies, but we'll throw another 15 bucks in, sure. Let's go. What's the worst that could happen? Urban block swarming. What's the worst that could happen? Several buildings in a large combat zone. That could be the TV warehouse, aka the Mighty Cart. Could be either of those maps. It could be the cafe. I think. It can't be school. Uh, office. I've forgotten my map foo. Very strongly. Urban block could be... Hmm. Dunno. I don't know. It could be cafe, it could be anything. We want to get in close though, we want to get in close with some action. So we're going to take some assaultage. I might take my good boys for this mission. I might take my good boys in. I'm gonna need to take Jessica as a double dip scout. For sure, I need a scout and an assault for this mission. Jessica, you're getting double dipped. Oh, hang on, no, wait, 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 Obrek. Obrek's here. Obrek's going in. Sour goat going in. We need, do we have a Lance Corporal Engineer? Shit. We need to get those going. All right, we need to get them going. I could take Cappy in. What are you gonna get for Lance Corporal, Cappy? Close Combat Specialist. Not bad. I need to save my good boys for the council mission though, actually. Now that I think of it. So we'll take our medium boys. Let's, get Let's not get too crazy. We'll just take more good boys than usual. I do need an engineer, I think. I think I need an engineer. And maybe if I level up Duke on this mission, they'll have Sapper ready for the council mission. And I can double dip them. So we'll take Duke, Obrek, Assault. Obrek, you're going Scout. I know all the Scouts so far have got like, uh, really just terribly wounded. I know. 14 day wounds minimum. But that's just two days of paid leave, uh, two weeks of paid leave, you know, Obrek, it's not a big deal. Two shotguns, Engineer. 
Okay. Who else are we taking? I'm gonna get caught in. Scout's gonna be... I mean, I, I could maybe use a gunner as well. I could maybe use a gunner as well, I think. Do I have a gunner good to go here? Yankee is good to go. Yankee with the holo targeting? Or the flush? I believe it's heat flush. Hollow wizard. Is how I build them. Which is going to be more useful for the council mission. I don't have an overwatch in infantry yet. So unless I'm taking two gunners, flush less so. Hollow targeting could be useful against the drones. Maybe a hollow targeting on a Yankee with a saw. We need one of each. We're going to get one of each anyway. I mean, I could take two gunners and then I could flush. That's an option. It's a good combo, you know? Flush. Flush plus uh, another gunner. It's a good combo. Fucks people up. Fucks them up real good. So that'll be two gunners. Scout. I mean, that's not bad. That's a pretty full-on squad there, you know? Scuba Steve, my boy. Ah, shit. Get me back in there. I'm not done yet. Then it leaves one last spot. Maybe for a, a rookie dookie. Or maybe I should goddamn start training another infantry right now. Or another grenadier. I mean, I've got a lot of babies ready to get promoted right now. I think I need to start promoting them into Lance Corporals or I'm gonna get just fucked by floaters. So maybe another infantry. Maybe a medic. Maybe a medic. I need another infantry though, I think. Let's get another infantry going. Claymore, you will be my infantry. I need more infantry. Looking, looking good. Another gunner with Scuba Steve. So many combat grandmas. Okay, another combat grandma. Let's gear him up. Make items available, let's gear him up. APHE over here on the engineer. Fine. Will one of these guys be an LMG? Not on your life. Not on your damn life in a in an urban block. We're gonna take the flush. We're gonna do the combo. I'm going to select flush now. Done. Two gunners right here. Two shotguns is plenty. Two gunners is plenty. We're just gonna gear him up here. So we need the motion trackers on somebody. So probably on the yeah, probably on the scout. Probably on the scout. One motion tracker. Sow goat. Keep the ceramic in the trophy, maybe. I do like my my assaults ready to go hard at a moment's notice. So someone else has to bring. The motion tracker in that case. Maybe we'll stick it on Claymore. Then we're gonna give Claymore an AP grenade. It's gonna leave an extra medkit on Scuba Steve while these guys are spraying the A away. I don't want high cap. I don't want to waste time on high cap. I want to just suppress like a beast with these two. Make it, make it, AP, AP, good. Assault the shotgun, trophy, ceramic, good. Obrek, AP, motion tracker, good. These guys are equidistant in their armor. Actually, they're not. They're not even. He's behind. We'll deal with it. We're still facing sectoids and drones. It should be okay. Duke, with a rifle, with the AP, the HE, should be fine. Claymore with the AP, the motion tracker. Two motion trackers. He hasn't got the drum mags. 
but I think we'll be okay. I mean, everyone else has got an AP. Let's put the drum mags on Claymore. Let's let him slay with the Patriot rounds. Definitely the strongest team we've sent out yet, just by nature of the amount of classes. It's all going to depend on whether these gunners can play off each other the way they should. If we get the, the flush into the suppression opportunist kills, those 66% or 65% to go off, this should be okay. Other than that, we're relying on Sour Goat uh, and Obrek with the shotguns, running up, slaying the A's, you know, double trouble, fist bumping each other while they're sticking shotguns in sectoids' non-existent mouths. And then there's Duke. And she's just windmilling grenades everywhere while Claymore's just shooting at people. It should work out, is what I'm trying to say. I just double check no one's got an LMG, because that could ruin the mission. Alright. Let's do it, let's go. Prepare for deployment, strike one. Let's do it. Ooh. We'll be deploying to Russia for this one. Current updates from the ground indicate the aliens are moving within the city limits. We should get down there and secure the area as quickly as we can. It's the port map. We've had good times on port and map. We've had bad times. Most of the good times have been in spite of the map. Hmm. Operation Silent Knife. We will have to be silent like the knife. If we want to take this swarming home, one pot at a time, creeping through the rubble. Claymore's gonna pop out of the turret on one of the labs on the left. And just pull a sectoid in and you're just gonna hear choking noises for a second and it's gonna be over. Let's get down there, let's see if we can pull this off. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Now, Watch how, your backs out there, people. How many bad boys are waiting for us here? Obrek? Whoa. No bad boys on the LZ. I don't know if I trust that or not. That's a little bit weird. But it might mean we can take the house. Which is obviously the nice terrain to take in this map. Affirmative. Okay, we got a blip. In the back room, with the guitars, jamming out, we got some sectoids maybe, or maybe a drone. But that's not all the- that's not all the shit out there. Also, why is this happening? What the hell? Probably want to run myself over to the right here. Keep scanning for contact. I mean, hell, I can probably just run up, I mean... They're behind the back wall there, I th oh, maybe not. Let's not get crazy, okay? We'll just take the right the side. Move. Okay. Let's get our people moving up. Moving, moving out. Moving to position. Chugga chugga chugga, here we go, Good. we're coming in. That's affirmative. Pistale. Got it covered. Be saying it Got it covered. Come get some. Overwatch. Okay. Pop another tracker. Get me in closer. Position confirmed. Now the bad boys are on our left. Again, behind the wall. Behind the coffee beans. Behind the awards. The menus, behind this wall, there's a pot of sectoids, I think. We are kinda... Come around the side. Keep that middle wall between us and them. I don't know if we can... Hmm. What? How many? How many? Let me climb up into the motion tracker, hang on. Okay, I'm looking around up here, I am the motion tracker now. It looks like three up here. Okay, let me just lower myself back down. Okay. I think there's like three of them when I stuck my head up there. Hang on. 
coming in from Kyra Alcyon on hashtag TNX on Twitter. He says they might be on the roof. That's a good point, Kyra Alcyon. Thank you. I'd actually forgotten that there was a roof on this map. They could be up there as well. Let's bring Scuba Steve. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let's bring Claymore up. Okay. Heading down there. Okay, we're good. Undead63 wants to know, when will you notice the Obrek has a frag face? I know. I'm not saying anything because I want you to discover it. The childlike glee of discovery should be for you to find. I'm gonna bring Obrek in. There's a fourth one. On my way. Okay, we're moving in. We're moving in. Let's get in there. Go, 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 go. Clear that breach. No need to ask twice. Okay, it's good. Affirmativo. It's good. No activations. Overwatch. Todo cubierto. Overwatch. I am scanning. Overwatch. Roger that. Scanning. Behind the yellow car, we're ready to move in. Maybe on the roof. Maybe on the roof, Kyra Elcyon, thank you, and not be Cypher. Thank you for noticing. Chikilroy in the chat right now. Hello, Chikilroy. Chikilroy both an important, famous streamer and YouTuber leading a high-octane life, and also uh, an alum of Live and Impossible. And TNX. Do I take another motion track? I think so. Oh, I think... I think I would have seen these boys. If I move up to this corner, and I don't see them through the, the roasted coffee wall, then we need... We know they're on the roof, and we gotta go roast them up there. Moving to position. Enemy in sight. They were inside. You were wrong, Kyrel Sion, but it was a good idea. I'm not gonna punish you for that. Now I can take the roof. Haha! -ha! One, one. Can we get two over there, two on the right? Let's get my dice out here. I take the roof. I break almighty line of sight here. Maybe just on the these guys on the side. Take me up on the roof, take me up on the roof. Let's go. Right there. Yes, Commander. Now I have the roof. Oh shit. We see some meld, we see some boys. Looks like three. Three dogs over there next to the meld canister. So probably well, I can even see it. So they're they're right here right now. So we don't want to go too far up. I can stay completely out of line of sight. I can just rush the roof even. Or I can move up and try and take some guys on right now. I think taking some guys on is the real... The real thing we want to do right now. I mean, where does guys show me the motion tracker again? If, if I assault run and get up to here, I'm probably going to activate another pod. So we don't want to do that. That's a little crazy. But if we get up to assault up on the roof, that's not as crazy. That's fine. But at the end of the day, maybe just sitting here in cover... Putting some boys up and leaving some boys here to Overwatch might be our best move. While we get Sour Goat up front, ready to attack some aliens. Let's get Duke up there as well. For the exact same reason. Do you think Duke will not activate? I think Duke might activate on the left there. Let's count it out. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going off grid now. We're going manual. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It should be fine. It should be fine as a fine wine. Duke can run right up there and there'll be zero problems with it. Let's do this. Zero problems. This is precision. I think I might have even seen a flank there. Was that a flank? I'll find out. I'll move right here and I'll, I'll tell you. 
That looks like some kind of flank. I don't quite think I can score it though. With anyone here. Maybe? No, I can, okay. I have to be in half cover, but I can score a flank there. We should try and take that. We should definitely try and take that. Let's get someone up for that. Like, uh, like Scuzzy Steve. Yeah, I mean that- Oh no, I can only get one flank on it. I can't get any flanks on it from there. Scuzzy Steve can't get there. Ohio Yankee. I can only get like one flank on this guy, cause that's a lot shittier. I don't know if I want to bother with that, cause I want to break loss here. So maybe, maybe we won't bother with that. That'll leave. Claymore to get up on the roof over here. And then the two gunners to hold back, getting ready to move in and slay. So we're gonna run Claymore up here. Roger that. Two guys on the right still, don't forget. Don't, don't forget. Sal got up on the side. And we'll just leave these two back here for right now. Just for right now. Heading to that location. I'm on the move. Okay, well, we'll leave one of them back here for right now anyway. Maybe we can get a hunk of going of Yankee. Okay. And an Overwatch going of Scuba Steve. Loss has been broken, alright? It's been broken in half. We'll see what the sectoids do to react. Spot on the left. I'm gonna need a continuous supply of motion tracking for my next moves. Claymore, I think it's your time. Okay. These guys have freaked out. One of them has taken cover right here, it seems. He's getting mine merged by another guy who is right over here to his right. Like in the in like the, the middle here. Just about here. Where's that guy? Can you show me? Show me on the show me on the view screen. Where is that guy? Oh he's the far guy, okay. Now it looks like he's in half cover. I think. Unless he stepped out to the right, which is... I mean, it's also... It looks like he stepped out and flanked himself. Maybe. So that's the mind merge guy. Then we've got... Yeah, another guy in the middle here. So now is the time to check this right side. Maybe we've got a free flank. We're gonna lay down some suppression or get some shit going on this guy on the left. Meld guy, we'll deal with him later. Now, Scuba Steve, what do we got? Can you move up and see somebody? On my way. No eyes. No eyes on target. Claymore can maybe get down there and see. Obrek can maybe get down there and see. I need somebody to get down here and see what's going on with this person on the on the side. This this not a person, this sectoid on the side. So I'm gonna bring Claymore down. Roger, tracking. Have you flanked yourself? You have not. You're just facing this way, okay? That makes sense. So Claymore, he's probably gonna boogie right him back on up. Duke can move up though, and he can go for a nukem on this uh, sector over here on the side, while clearing some ground there. We're gonna move him up. There now. Visual on the goods. Ooh, ooh! I didn't think they could be flying. I didn't think of the potential of drones. You almost got me there. Watch out. That means we're facing a drone pod about to come over the roof at us. That's not good. If we bring Obrek over to clear on the side, we can maybe get down here, pull a flank on him. Yankee can move up. He can get a suppression on him. Easy as pie. Easy as raspberry pie over here. Okay. So that's probably what we want to do. We want to move out here, deal with this Overwatch, get ourselves back in a position, ready to deal with these drones. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna move right here. Run that overwatch. Ugh. Okay, that's not good. 
Let's take a minute here. Let's just time out. That's not good. Obviously, it's not good when the sectoid hits your scout for five on oh, no, Overwatch through lightning reflexes. That's never good. Look, we don't like that. That's the cards we've been dealt. We're going to carry on. Obrek needs a little bit of healing. My scouts do not do well in missions. They get a lot of wounds. I need another... I need another scout now. But the Overwatch is cleared. We can... We can move Yankee on up. He can get that suppression. We're going to take some vengeance on this sectoid. Give him a suppression. You know what? It happens. Alright, it happens, folks. Let's not act like it doesn't happen. It happens. It absolutely happens. Who has the medkits? The gunners both have the medkits, I think? We need some uh, medikitting. Absolutely. Obrek needs to get the hell out of that position. Come back over here, Obrek. And get yourself some heal. Got it covered. Because those drones are about to come over the roof and you're going to need some medkit power when that happens. Probably going to leave you here to... No, let's, let's bring you in. Let's bring you in. I'm on it, Commander. Put you in position. Let's bring Claymore back up, ready to fire. On my way. I'm not going to do shit with the Engineer, because I'm frightened to do anything with the Engineer right now. But I will bring, uh... I will bring Sour Goat down. Probably hunker behind this car right here. Ah, I mean, I mean, you know, live a little. We could go here for sure. We could, we could definitely go here. Let's go to here. Headed there now. Hunker. Wait, no, I can't hunker. I can't hunker because then I won't. He won't run. So I need to take the shot nonetheless. We're gonna take the shot. Might not have needed to suppress. Okay, we still need to suppress. I want to hunker, but I can't. Damn it. Do not shoot that yet. Just overwatch. Okay. That's not good. Duke's firing on the drones. He's trying to shoot the birds, I think. Here come some drones. Not what we want right now. More sectoids running in. They just burst that door open, so that's bad. Fuck you. Fuck sectoids. Okay, we're gonna deal with what we got. We're gonna fall back and deal with what we got. This is getting nasty. Fuck you. No mind fray. Not today. Okay, it's all down on this opportunist shot. 70%. Yes! Yes! Now what, was there four drones, I think? Sectoids behind them. We're gonna be careful not to activate extra sectoids here. Also gotta fuck these drones up. I need to fuck these drones. These drones need to die. Gotta fall back in a heavy cover to accomplish that the best, I think. Claymore wants to take a couple of shots here. Because why not? I need Obrek getting healed up in a jiff. Probably gonna run down here, then run back up with the healing. I mean, I need to get healed by both of y'all, I think. I could get a double flush going as well, though. If I just if I just get Obrek out of the situation, I could get a double flush running, which would be sick. I've got the ammo. I come over. I suppress this little asshole. I flush him. That's potentially another sectoid down. Which is good. I'm gonna bring you over, Scooper Steve. We're gonna go for it. That's affirmative. That's what we brought the gunners here to do. Credit says, Beegs and Jam, what is it with XCOM 2 that makes it less fun than Enemy Within? I can't pinpoint what it is. Too much stuff to go into right now. Ask me again in a year. Alright, maybe I'll make a video about it one day, a review. I know what it is. I can tell you. But we can't do it right now, alright? We're having too much fun right now. It's just got some foundational flaws, you know? Well, it's not just timers. Timers is just part of it. It's a lot of things. We'll go into it later. One day. Maybe we'll have a TNX show about it one day. We're gonna suppress. 
marking down area. In a nutshell, it's more repetitive. It's more predictable. I'll say no more than that for right now. Now we're gonna flush. It happens. You know that happens. Can't kill him if you don't hit him. Munición en las últimas. Very true. Very, very true. Obert just needs to hunker. Claymore needs to start spraying these drones as they come in. Just lighten them the hell up. Hitting the front runner. Take them down. That's why you got the drum mags. That's not good. It's not. Okay. Sour goat, we're gonna need you back up here. For chisel, my rizzle. And Duke as well. On the move. Not great shots. Shot wide. They never are with drones. They never are. Aye, aye, Commander. We've got our shotgunners on the roof, and hopefully that's all we need. On Overwatch. Obrek has to hunker here. He has to hunker to survive. No sectoids on the roof to mine merge him. Should be okay. The mine frame should be okay. Last mission of the day. Let's not fuck up and die now. Okay. The drone's landing. I like it. Don't hit me. You miserable little shit. Oh, God! Fucking hit me with the mega beam. He's just gonna phase through the... He's just gonna phase through the fucking floor. That's how much they're cheating right now. They're out for blood. Remote controlled right now. Every one of them. We're good. One more. You're just gonna keep dodging. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Easy. Easy, boys. Three... Three, uh, descended drones right now is good for me. Sectoids coming in all over me right now. I'm getting covered in sectoids right now. But I can't give up. This is my, this is my time to shine. We're gonna grenade these motherfucking drones. Which is funny because they're sitting still, so we don't- Like, they're on the ground, we don't even need to grenade them, really. But we're gonna do it anyway. Because we need to kill these motherfuckers. That meld's dead. Fuck the meld. We never had a chance to get that meld. Grenade. Right here. Wait, hang on. Hmm. No, yeah, it has to be. Grenade right there. It has to be right there. Oh! Yes! That's what we need. Very good. Now, a follow-up AP from anybody. Claymore doesn't have one. Obrek has one. So Obrek can maybe make the follow-up AP. Would clean up maybe another two drones here. Then, Sour Goat can run in. Shotgun this last drone. Shotgun him good. What do we got down here? Can we flank those little, little dickheads? Not quite, not yet. But we can we can flush spray and we can spray the A's away. Alright, don't don't worry. Claymore can come down and help us out. If only Claymore could see these two. But I mean Obrek can send in the follow-up grenade right now. Could be what we need, I think. Let's send in that follow-up grenade. Okay. Send it in! Hoorah! Dead! All dead. I got drones! For days, right now, just, just dropping everywhere. I can't even keep track of them. Get out of here. Sour Goat's got to move up. He's got to kill this drone over here, especially with Obrek low now. Has to move up and get this this drone. Getting it done. Got to kill him. Have to kill him. Has to die. Considering moving right up on him because he has to die. But if I move to here. That could be a real bad news bear. Because there might be sectoids down there that I'm going to activate. Well, th that door wasn't the one busted in, actually, Beagle. Which door was busted in? Maybe back here was the one busted in. Where is that door? It has to be these doors. It sounded like double doors to me. I can't see shit. This door wasn't busted in, though, so... Might be okay to move up. 
and get that extra close shot here. I mean, where's our other sectoids? We got... What we got? What we got? Sectoid, sectoid, drone. There's no sectoids on the right here, so we can actually just move to this position. Or even down here. Should be fine. One, two, three, one by the mill. Okay. Going in for the Run it and gun it. Put me right up its ass. Is where I want to be. I want to be right up its ass. I could even jump down here. You know? Just put me right up its ass. It should be fine. Right there. Heading out. We're good. 100% oh. 100% success rate. Okay? That's the number you gotta be paying attention to there. Claymore can now drop down. Engage the sectoids. Exactly what we need right now. Exactly what we need. With these three sectoids left. Oh, did my chat break? I think my chat broke. Hold on. I, I wanna hear the chat. Hold on. Oh god, it's back. Hang on. Oh, hold on. Get one of a scene. Camera one. Okay. Let's have a look here. I gotta refresh my chat. I gotta see all your little... Your little sayings. It's important to me. Believe it or not. Okay. Am I live? I don't see any sayings. What happened to the chat? There's chat. Okay, chat's back. Haven't had chat for a while. Just realized. We can run these gunners up. No, we can just attack with the gunners from here. No, we don't have enough for a flush. Okay. We've got APs though, but I don't want to waste more grenades. We don't need that. Maybe just get myself into a position where I can pin these motherfuckers down. And start slicing them up. I mean, I can come in from the door here. Hell, I can get Claymore into this position. Light them both up. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 that, that's good, that's good. Let's get Claymore in. In the zone. I mean, he can already come from the right. Drop Claymore into this position. Move one of them up. Suppress this guy. Maybe overwatch the other one. Easy peasy. Alright, just drop down and do a bunch of overwatch. I killed him with a shotgun next turn. I mean, that's an option as well. I mean, you're gonna drop down and kill that guy next turn anyway with the assault. So probably just focus on this guy on the left. So let's move you up, Yankee. Just walk through that door. Get Scuba Steve over here. On my way. Claymore drop down. How are we looking here? 60%. 53. 60%. 53. 60%. 53. I'm gonna take the 53 right now. Easy! Shot him so hard I saw the after image burn into my eyes of his little red outline. What an idiot. 40%, let's take it. Fine, I don't care. I'll get him next turn. I'm rich, I don't care if 40% misses. I can just buy more hits next turn. We're gonna take a suppression on this guy so he can't do anything but mine stuff. Suppressing. We're lighting him up. Alright, let's see what his play is. Let's give him, give him a go, see what his play is. Idiot. Very stupid. His play is to be a moron. Sal Goat's not done. She's coming in. She came to kill. Okay. Kick that door in. Got him. One little tap. It's all over. Target down. And there's one more out there, don't forget. Buy the meld canister. He just sucked it all up. He got rid of the meld, alright? He made it die early. I gotta heal up Obrek. Oh, Move Yankee up, get a reload running. Well, you gotta heal Obrek actually, but let's get Obrek one thing at a time here, okay? Let's get one thing at a time. Bring Scuba Steve around for a heal. Heading there now. One heal at a time here. Getting it done. Because I need to reload Yankee. Regarga correcta. 
Heal him up. We have to give him two, I think. You'll be back in the fight ASAP. Claymore can move up. Okay. Get more eyes on target. Duke holding the top. No problems. Take a reload. Ready to engage. You've earned it. Wanna get Obrek up on the roof? Aye, aye, Commander. Once more. Take an overwatch of Claymore. Pit a patter. Right there. What the hell was that? I have no idea. We need a scout to check it out, but he's he's feeling under the weather lately. Let's bring him down. Position confirmed. Give him the second heal. Poor little Obrek. My poor precious boys, my poor precious scouts. So wounded. You guys all complaining about XCOM 2 in the chat. Huh? We're not going into it right now. What part of that don't you understand? Settle down. Okay? Save your angry for later. When someone more important isn't on the screen than your opinions. Alright, this is the last mission of the day. Soak it in. Enjoy it. Moving to position. You're gonna wait another week after this. Okay? We only got half an hour left. Just relax. B Cypher says, Can I ban them? If you were a real mod, you'd know the answer without asking me. I'm not gonna tell ya. We'll see. They're gonna have a reload on Claymore, I think. Sour goat. Moving. Rolling up. Duke gonna hold the roof. On my way. Gonna hold the roof of Duke. Claymore, let's get you back up on that same roof that we are talking about right now. Let us get you back to the roof. Understood. Moving. I wonder if you'll get shot. Now you're good. Scuba Steve moving in for the reload. On my way. Oh yeah. We're green to go. Oh yeah. Roger that. Scanning. One little scared Shh. I think I heard something. out of his mind sectored on the left there. High as fuck. Here he comes. Watch out, he's on Bath Salt and PCP and he's got a gun. He could do anything. Why you not play OG XCOM, the Pirate King says? Oh, we're gonna play OG XCOM again right here on TNX. We're gonna do it right here in the room. You better fucking wait and see. We're gonna do OG XCOM right here. I'm gonna fit it in. OG XCOM is like going to summer camp. You gotta fit it in in between the main campaign. But also you have great memories there and it's really fun and it helps you grow as an adult. Hopefully, if you went to the right summer camp. I didn't go to any summer camps. I didn't need them. I was born an adult. Can I get a suppression here? I can. I can do a suppression flush, double trouble, anytime I want it. Now let's see. No more pods out there. He's trying to bait me, but he ain't got it. Heading out. Mod of the OGX come? Oh, you better believe it. Final mod pack, absolutely. Why play OGX come vanilla when you can play it with dumb little alien hybrids scurrying out of their stupid hillbilly shack? While a dog with a flamethrower in its mouth runs around healing and flaming people. Alright? I killed a cyber disc with a dog with a flamethrower in its mouth. Final mod pack's the way to go. It's the long war of OG XCOM. It's, in, it's brilliant. Let's get the uh, double trouble. Pressing. Memester was in OG XCOM when we played it last year. He shot the dog. That was two years ago now, actually. He shot the dog real good. If you missed that. Line them up! Get him the hell out of here, it's too easy right now. This is probably our last too easy mission, I think this is one of the last sectoid missions. We're gonna have the council mission. Maybe another abduction in March and it's gonna be Floater and Thin Man time next week, so watch the hell out. Solid copy. I'm rooting around for sectoids out here right now. Position confirmed. Contact. Yeah, I thought that might happen, I shouldn't have done that. Shit. Premature. Activation. Not what you want to be doing. Let's bring Obrek 
Hmm. Let's bring her back over to the side here. On the move. Sour goat. Okay. Ready to go. Duke getting ready for the grenade. Headed there now. Sector's about to do something. Frightening. I'm gonna run Claymore up so he's ready to go. I don't see him down there yet, but I know they're there. Duke ready? Okay. Here they come. Who, who can they see? Who the hell can they even see? I got their lives in my hand right now, okay? Let's do this clean. It could be the last fight of the day. Two Overwatch. Did I hear another pot out there as well? I don't know. Okay, you can just see Sour Goat. Now, Obrex had bad innings with Lightning Reflexes today. But it can't get worse, right? It can't get any worse. I don't think he can get hit by two at once. That'd be ridiculous. You know, that, that, would, that would be absurd. That wouldn't make sense. So we're probably okay. You can throw the HE grenade in here. Maybe set that car alight. Get this AP grenade in here, though. I could kill maybe two of them. Straight up. Straight up like a gangster. I can just kill two of these sick toys, maybe. Let's go for it. Let's go for the AP. Fire in the hole. Fire in their hole. Okay. Not bad. Have we got another AP up here? I think somebody does, don't they? Hmm. Claymore can pop out and start taking shots here. rat a tat tat I want to take shots on these guys, though, Claymore. That's where I want to go. Hmm. Okay, you're going to get spotted coming around this. We need some suppression as well on these toids. These little toidies. I can suppress that one. Well, I, I mean, hell, I can probably just flush that one. But we need to suppress this one on the left as well, I think. Well, need is a strong word. We don't need to, actually. I... I could... I mean... Mm, mm. Maybe if I move to here, I can see him through the door. I want to flush that guy. I want to flush him right down the toilet. Can you see him from there? Can you can you see him to flush him? Hmm. You can, but that's not the one we want. We don't want to flush that one. That's not the one we want. We want to flush the other one. Maybe if I come across one... No, that's that's not going to work. Shit, I might just have to take the half cover because I want to flush him so bad. And it's really the only move to make. I mean, if I, if I go here... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold on, hold on. What about there? Can they can still see me there? Fuck. I just got to suppress the back one. But that's one I want to flush. Fuck. What if I can move up here? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just calm down. One. Two. Let it update. Three. Still can't see him. What about here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Can you see him from there? You can see him from there. Okay. So you run up. You flush the little moron in the back. Right in his dumb head. Give him a little taste of XCOM justice. You can't quite get the AP on both, so go ahead. Flush the little moron. Flush the little baby. We'll suppress the other one. We can bring Claymore around even. We can't get him around in time for the Overwatch, I don't think. Which is unfortunate. But we'll go for the flush. I would have liked to get him on Overwatch there, is the thing. But we'll get him on Overwatch. Go for the flush. Okay, the little baby's alive, but that's okay. You know, worse things have happened in my life. Probably still on Overwatch out there as well is a problem. Now we're going to move the Clayton dog up. Yes, come on. Shit, I thought that might happen. But it's okay. Because now I've got a flank. On this little idiot, we have a flank right now. That's good. So we'll take the flank on a little moron. The little baby. The little stupid. Dead. 
Hostile you eliminated. Some over here. Hostile eliminated. Easy. Now we can run into the sour goat. Easy, 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 easy. We can get another suppression. But we don't need it. We need to just go for a flank here, I think. Are you going to be seen by the uh, Mr. Sector? Okay, so we have to run that suppression. Uh, that overwatch, sorry. We have Obrek. Run out of Obrek. Take the suppression on the chin. Take a shot. Yes, Commander. Uh, the overwatch, I mean. Lightning reflexes can't miss twice in the mission. That'd be stupid. Incoming easy. Fire. Too easy. Hit the 87, maybe. Sour Goat can start running in. Probably take this position right here. Mm. Let's keep it. Let's keep it PG. Actually, go over to here instead. But they can all see me now, so that's not good. Maybe what I'll do instead is I'll run Obrek to this position over here. Uh, nice and safe, away from activations. I'm on the move. Away from a lot of shots in half cover. Still flanked. Now I just take the suppression. Just One as dead. Probably just as dead. Running dry. Come over here. Okay. Get ready to run and gun that guy on the left. Fuck, that scared me. Because it was shooting at me as I ran. That was actually kind of frightening. Okay. We got an overwatch. On overwatch. Let's see what happens. That actually scared me a little bit. Okay. Beefing them up to run the overwatch, the suppression. They're looking at their spreadsheets right now, trying to figure out a way out of here. He's clambering on top of the lab like it's Mogadishu right now. Mind fucking on Obrek. Obrek's okay. 68, we need it to hit. Oh, the spreadsheet worked for you this time, little Zwinstoid. All right, all right. Little Steve the Sectoid. But your gun's gone now, what are you gonna do? Oh shit. I'm gonna shoot with your mind. I heard another pot out there. Where are my motion trackers? I have one more, right? Another set of bad boys. In the building. They blew open the doors and they're holding inside there. We gotta be careful. But Sour Goat should be able to kick the door down. Go in and hopefully flank one of these sectoids. Maybe this one right here? What can we do? Can you... You can flank them from there. You can flank both of them. They're both done. Idiots. We've got them dead to rights if we just run to this position. Run them down. The babies are going to bye bye town. Hell, you can still see him from here, apparently. No, no, you can't see that guy. Okay. We're gonna run up. That's on a flank, though. We have to run to here to get the flank, I think. And I don't know if that's gonna step out or not. I assume that's gonna step out. We're gonna run to here. Target confirmed. On our way. Get Mr. Roofman. It's not a flank. Fuck. We'll take the 83. Fuck. Bad news. That's not a step out. I- I- Maybe it's a little lip here, or maybe you just don't step out when you're not next to a corner. I can't remember. I can't remember. Move around on the side here. We gotta flank him in anyway. And then I can flush this idiot. Suppress him with the other gunner. Where are you? No ammo, never mind. Can't suppress him with that gunner. But I gotta get rid of that suppressor so Claymore can start firing down from yon high. I mean, I got grenades out my ass still. I got plenty of grenades here. You know? I can just run Duke up and just start grenading the little idiots. Easy as pie. I'm not gonna see him through there, am I? No. Just move Duke up, let's just uh, throw a little HE grenade. Have a little bit of explosive action. These labs can't blow up again, can they? Doesn't seem like they can. Oh, oh. I don't know, actually. Kind of scary. I don't want to test it, so I'm not going to hit the one on the roof, I don't think. That's kind of scary. But these two, fair game. Because when labs blow up, they blow up hard. I don't want to blow up any labs. Okay. No, that's fine. Well, you're not suppressing anymore, are you, you little chump? Because Johnny Love didn't code that right, so now you're not suppressing even though you resisted it. So eat shit. You had to die for cover, moron. Now Claymore's gonna shoot you in your fucking head. You idiot. Hold on. Weapons empty, can't sure wait. I know you think you're safe, but that was just a warm-up. Okay, now you're now you're safe. 
I'll give that to you now. Now you're safe. Let's run up Scoobzy. On my way. Scoobzy Steve. I don't think we can get an AP grenade close enough. So things just got a little hectic around here. Maybe I can run over here. And it was really all just leading up to this, folks. The rest of my moves were just a ruse. This was the real move I was making. Okay, this was the real move I was making right here. Don't flank me, you little dickhead. C come on, come on. Come on, right on, right on top of the green car. A little bit closer, please. Please, thank you, a little bit closer. Yes. This was the real move all along. Okay. Been a little while since I played XCOM. I forgot the red indicator lies to you all the time. Thanks, Jake. Really appreciate that! That's good. It's okay. It's all good. We'll take a Overwatch. I'm on it. Back on We'll take a reload. It's fine! It's all good. They're backing up! Advance! I got my ruse got rused. He's flanked himself. What are you doing? Okay, I don't know what that guy's doing. We're taking a 13% Obrek, just calm down. What the hell? Got something over here. I just didn't want Obrek to strain himself. I just wanted him to just calm down. Pace himself. He's mind frayed. He thinks he's shooting just like a unicorn right now. He thinks Ringo Starr is a midget in a diaper running in front of him. And he just takes the shot and he hits him. He hates Ringo. He's hallucinating out of his goddamn mind he hits that shot. Obrek's a champion. That shot on the bridge, now this one? Obrek's a fucking champ. We got four sectoids in play. Four sectoids in play right now. And it's time to reset the initiative of this fight. Maybe move up on the side with my shoot gun. Aye, aye, Commander. Find the missing guy who ran away. Okay. Start coming around the side, maybe. Maybe. I get, I, get, I, get, 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 I gotta get my boys in position. So maybe move Duke up as well. Heading out. Orbeck slamming those shots. My god. I need to reload Claymore. Let's uh, reload them up here. Maybe you can overwatch if they come towards us. Though I don't know if they will. Right now. Can I see anyone from here? Can I get a shot on anybody? I don't know. Let's move up and find out. I think I can probably flank around the side here is my right move. Claymore's gonna reload. Scuba Steve gonna move up and we're just gonna... You know, we're just gonna break it all over him. At this point. They can't open the roller door, their hands are too small. The safe move, just in case there's another pod back there, is to bring Sour Goat back. I might just go for the safe move right now. Okay. The safe move. Let's not get anybody killed here today, Beagle. The Mel's already gone. No need to be fancy. I don't need to get overly creative right now, okay? Okay, my fingers are broken, but I don't need to get overly creative. I gotta pace my bloodlust. Kill him. Okay. Alright. Fine. Kill him. Fine. Alright. All good. We got one going up on the roof, I think? Yeah, he's going up on the roof. You better believe it. Claymore's there already. I knew this would happen. I know this little idiot's gonna go up here, and I'm ready. I think I can, uh, duke-a-doodle-do -doo this stupid head. Or I can flush him, actually. Even funnier. 
No, I don't have the ammo for flush. It's gonna be a duke doodle do For this, uh, stupid idiot. Yeah, yeah, give it- give it to him, like, right there. duke doodle do motherfucker! Merry fucking Christmas! Gone. The cover's got. Do you have Sapper or something, Duke? No. I mean, I know no one can see right now because I'm, I'm in front of the important information. But you can... You can just see here. Well, you can't see it underneath my... My sub thing anyway. But he hasn't got Sapper, believe me. Okay? duke a duke a do duke a Oh, baby, no. No, that's mean, Obrek. Don't do it. Don't do it, Obrek. Leave him alone. Roger that. Obrek, no! Oh, no. I can't watch this. Wait. Obrek's not flanking him. Oh, it's a 99% to hit, though. Ugh. I don't know if I should do that or not. What the hell am I talking about? Of course I should. Okay. Fuck that kid up. Fuck him up. Just run on up. Finish him off. Claymore can come in and he can finish the little low ground idiot off. Just run up there and fuck him up. Okay? Moving out. Easy. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh! Obrek, I told you not to do it and you did it. Look what's happening now. You're gonna get grenaded. Nobody wanted this, Obrek. Nobody wanted this to happen to you. Don't worry, we'll, we'll globetrotters it, okay? We'll get the pixel. Y you big idiot, Obrek. Look what you've done. You're getting yourself killed out there, man. You just gotta... Oh, oh, oh. I mean, this could be bad. <laughs> this, this could be bad. We might not be able to get the globetrotters nade we need to save him right now. Ah. Who am I fucking kidding? You can always get the globe trying to nade. Throwing grenade. Look at this shit. Look at this. It bounces back up. All right. That's talent. Now I gotta finish off this moron. I'm gonna shoot him through the ladder for style points. Go ahead, come up. Brat. Oh shit. Okay. Hold your consternation. We'll get him. We'll get him. Because he's going to go up that ladder and shoot Obrek if I don't get him. So I will, we'll get him. You better believe we'll get him. Hold your nose. Because here comes the cold water. These hoes don't want him no more. He's cold product. And they've moved on. To the next schmo who blows. Okay. Something something ho. Yo. You gotta capture it. Okay, we're gonna take that 86. Thank you. Now we just overwatch this last little guy and we're done. And we're done here. Half cover. No problem. Okay? Barely even a wound. But you! Solid copy. You done fucked up now! Okay? You done fucked up now! I'm on it, Commander. You think you're gonna get shot by the assault? I flanked this shit before I even walked in the room! Don't even... Don't even show it to me. It's too graphic. Ugh. Out of the game. Don't even... The don't even show us. Do that off camera. Cause that was just getting nasty. Look at his little body. You see his little body dancing down there? He just faded in. He's camouflaged now. He's become part of the concrete jungle. 15 kills. Zero operatives lost. A lot of dead sectoids. A lot of dead drones. But that's the day. Operation Silent Knife. Another nice, calm day. Three missions. Let's not get crazy. Easily done. It's closing time. We're gonna do our subs and dubs, our fan art. I didn't forget. And then we'll be done. Obrex out for 30 days. 
My scouts are not doing well in this campaign. Not doing well at all. And this is only March. This is just sectoids and drones. My scouts are not doing well. It's not a good sign for the future. But Duke is promoted to have real sapper now. Obrek will be back in 30 days. Almost died. Okay? Almost died. One hit point off. But alive. There but for the grace of God and Solomon and Gupta goes Obrek. Okay? He'll be back. He will return. Sour Goat. Up to Lance Corporal, close combat specialist, out for 12 days, off that little tap at the end there, not good. Not good, that little tap at the end there, not good. How that whole situation played out. When Beagle said, take it slow, you know, no need to get anyone killed, I wasn't listening to him, because he's an idiot. You know, I wanted to just get in there and shotgun a motherfucker. Obrek had to shoot that sectoid. But you know, Steve's gonna get up me for that one. That's gonna be in the review. It's, it's, this is gonna be the slight mistake. I think it'll be upgraded from a slight mistake this time. I think it'll be like a moderate mistake. I don't think it'll quite be a heavy. It's definitely not a swarming mistake. But it'll be... It'll definitely be a mistake. Let's, uh... Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. $115. We will be in touch, Commander. I can deal with the rest of that later. Let's get back out into the, the world. Save an exit for today's XCOM. Have a look at the fan art. Have a look at our subs and dubs. Where's that fan art link? I need the fan art link. Give me a sec, I gotta find the fan art link. Fan art. Beagle Rush fan art. Okay, here we go. Scroll down. This takes a while, there's a lot of fan art. It takes a little while. Thanks very much. So, uh, subs and dubs for the last mission. Anaru has subscribed in Hideous Pantsuits. Thank you guys very much. Here at the end of the day. We'll be back with more uh, PUBG tomorrow. Player Unknown Battlegrounds. A new patch just came out yesterday. Uh, it added a motorcycle for sidecar. A Vector. 45 ACP SMG. The crossbow is back. Muzzle flashes are bigger. Footsteps can now be elevate. You know, can hear them in elevation up and down. Uh, footstep sounds got tweaked. Rifles got tweaked. Uh, like, a hundred different bugs got fixed. My performance got fucked. I'm, hopefully I can make the game playable by tomorrow, because right now it's pretty unplayable, so I gotta fix it tonight. But tomorrow we'll be back with more PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds for the long weekend. Uh, another long weekend of PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. We're moving the RPG times around, I've decided. It's gonna continue on being PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds long weekends, I think, for a while. Uh, while we sort out, we're gonna move Sci-Fi and uh, Runeterra D&D times around for a while. But for now, it's gonna be PUBG weekends. I'm loving it. Let's get down to the fan art. The pan stops bullets now, that's right. Where's our fan art at? Okay, here we go. What are they saying? What are they doing? Let's have a look at some of this fan art. Have I got this ready to go? I got this ready to go. Okay, I got it ready to go. Give me the browser window, please. Please. Turn on my web desk capture. There! Hey, hey, hey. Now we're talking. Okay. Now let me screen these, though. Okay. So I, I gotta screen these for quality. I'm gonna start getting a little bit mean. I might not start showing fan art that I think is low energy. Okay. And people will know, because they'll look at the spreadsheet. They'll see what's been sent in, they'll go, wow. He didn't show that one. Yeah, well. Might be a little bit of quality control from now on, alright? Whoa. Maybe B's gonna get a little bit mean, looking at the fan art. He's about to start right now. Give me a little drink here. I gotta judge this in real time now. Hmm. Okay. Alright, I'll show this one. From Jeff the Hobo. What are they saying? What are they doing? Who do they work for? And what do they know about Exalt? What do they know about the aliens and what is the meld? This was on the line, Jeff. Right, this was on the line. This was right on the line. You're lucky. Okay? Papa John himself might not have shown this one. It's low energy. It's low effort. But... You did go the extra mile to make the lines curve nicely. And I respect that. In this uh, Pepe Silvia... I mean, my weak spot is conspiracy walls. So you've got me. 
But be careful, you're right on the line. I don't know if I'd call this art. Alright, Jeff, I'm watching you in the chat. I don't know if I'd call this art. Okay, this is the fan art highlight reel right now. And I gotta say, I don't know. This is more like a conspiracy board than art. From Anonymous, an actual photo of Jeff. Jeff who? What, Jeff the Hobo? What are we talking about here? Oh god, Google Docs, come on, give me a break. What is this? <laughs> yeah, I mean, now, this guy's just getting into the follow-up, okay? It's like I said, it's the Pepe Silvio wall. This isn't even fan art. This is just a picture of Pe the Pepe Silvio wall. But because of the context, now because of Jeff, now we gotta show this. Because it makes me happy, alright? He's lucky, he got in there with the topical reference. From player two, let's see. Uh, okay, let's let's have a look. I'm not happy. I'm not happy about this. I'm not happy about this fan art. This is low energy. I will waste no more time on it, alright? I won't even dignify it with a response. You've just put me on a rock, and you've written beagles back on the rocks. I... I think you even... You even wrote in MS Paint, the beags and the rock. And there's only one rock! But it says beags is back on the rocks. You didn't even get two rocks in here. You haven't got the energy for two rocks? Low energy. I'll have no more of this type of fan art. I'm putting a fat while on it. Let's see, alright, next one, let's have a look, let's have a look. What's this? A video? It's a memorial, but that's not what- we're not about memorials right now. I'm sorry. People just getting silently booped the fuck out right now. Alright, someone's put some effort into drawing us a little bit. Look. They got me because they're combining PUBG, my PUBG stream, with my XCOM stream. Alright. You know what? That's cross promotion. That's money in the bank. Alright. Because I got fucked by a guy in a bathtub in PUBG. That's what this is talking about. You're getting away with it because it's cross promotion. I don't know what's going on that sectoid's neck. That looks like that's just his spine cortex. Okay, I think that sectoid's already dead. No, it's not a pipe. It's not a pipe piece, Simon. That's a sectoid in the bathtub. Let's keep going. All right, I'm gonna keep looking. We're gonna find something here that is high energy, high effort. <laughs> We're gonna find something. All right. Look, I can't lie. I'll show this from Salted Saltine. The arrow, Gavin. I mean, he's put in some effort. There's color. There's color in this picture of the arrow, Gavin. He's remembered to put in the missile pods on the top, the propellers. Strafing. Okay. I can't fault this too bad. Effort's been put in. A little bit. He's put color in. You know? Color's in there from Soul to Soul Team. I hope people who put an MS Paint fan out are sweating right now. They should be. Now here we go. Alright? Now this! This is fine. This is, this is some good quality. This is how you can be low effort, high quality. Alright, I was hoping someone would make this when I said the drones were angry about Obrek. Exactly. Nice, quick, we can get in, we can get out, we can have a little laugh in our brains. Not in real life, of course. We're not quite there. A little laugh in our brains, move on. Alright. We're getting elevated, at least. From Dreams Cheese, what's this? I mean... Maybe I should just show them all at this point. I like what you've done here. Okay. I can't fault people over artistic talent. It's no Mona Lisa. Okay? It's no Mona Lisa. But something about this speaks to me. The drone looks happy. Maybe you're an artist. If you've brought emotion to an emotionless thing. Hey. I'll give you some respect for that. Okay? It's a cute drone. I like that drone from James the Cheese. What's this? I spent like 20 minutes on this. But he spent more than the 10 minutes that the rock guy spent on it, okay? I'm watching. 
he's done this. It's got shading. This has effort. Okay? Look at this. It has shading. It's deceptive. It looks like it's done in MS Paint, because it is. But there's shading here. Alright? There's a thickness. The writing is legible. There is a train of thought. Someone spent time on this. And that someone is Gojira. Alright? 100%. You gotta have shading. Okay? What's this? Whoa! Someone's drawn something from Thiessen. Memesters Marksman Accuracy. Featuring Van Drone. Oh my god, that drone is terrifying. Put this up on the main screen. <laughs> Memester thinks she got a blaster launcher or something. Right? There's a lot of detail in here. I think I see a little soylent hanging around the back there. She didn't even grin on Memester's face. Nice little sketch. Okay. Drone. Peter Van Drone is here. I've never seen Peter Van Drone before. You're the first person to ever draw Peter Van Drone. Alright. So there you go. I like the little faces. This is accurate. This is accurate. And so far I'll rate you the MVP of fan art today. It's on a high bar. But this is nice. There's energy. There's effort. Heart touching. Mind changing. Thank you. Thanks very much to Thiessen. For Maracasi. I shouldn't say the names yet in case I don't show it. Oh god, okay, I'm gonna show this one for Maraca. See, he said he can't get enough bees. This is frightening. I gotta get out of the way so you can take in the whole thing. I mean, this is... It's a little bit scary. I don't know quite how I feel about this. Okay, that just looks like me, but yellow. Looks like a yellow of me. There I am down there. There I am in the jambled picture. There I am again, but I got like some Borderlands shit on my face. I like this. This is well done. Okay? It shows us emotions that we didn't know we had. It takes us to new depths that I didn't know my face could go to. I like this very much, thank you. You know that new uh, face app or something that's going around? You can turn yourself into like a smile or you can make yourself look like a woman or something? Uh, my friend Acidic Plague was saying he, he turned all his friends into, into women. They all turned out quite pretty. I said, you know, do me. I want to see how fucked up I come out. I look like a sectoid. An honest to god sector. Do I have that picture? Can I just pull that up? I might still have that picture. Hang on. I'll give you a little fan out on my own if I have that picture. I gotta pull that up. Hold on. It's a little terrifying. I gotta go to my history. Okay, so I'm gonna just... One sec, one sec. It was a little scary. I'm not gonna tell you a fib. It was a little bit frightening. Show me the full history. Come on. I got a lot of fan art here. Where, where is the... No, not that. Not that. No, no, no. No, no, no. Here we go. Okay. Oh, God. These are terrifying. Okay. Show you a little bit of fan art on my own. This is what happened when Plague ran me through the, the, the face app. Okay, so this was... This was the first one to start off. This is the old setting. Not so bad, right? Bring on the wrinkles, I say. You know? Distracts from the bald. Gives a little bit of distinction to my face. I, my eye got fucked up by plasma burns or something. Alright? Bring on the wrinkles. I can age. Now, you might think that's bad, but we're not there yet, alright? This is on the female setting. It's a little scary. It's trying to take the... Hair away from my face and add hair to my scalp, but it doesn't know what the fuck to do. It's just got like this asteroid belt dust crater ring of follicles around my face. It's got the ugu eyes. It's taken away my beard. And it's just caved that face right in. And then, this was the female setting. Then he ran me through the baby setting, alright? And boy, this was just even worse. It just makes me look exactly like a baby. It kind of worries me. I think I just look like a baby. Because sectoids look like babies. And people say I look like a sectoid, so... It's some fucked up advent baby right here, okay? So that was frightening. But now you've seen. You know, interest of the disclosure, I've shown it to you now. Alright? You can't say you haven't seen. Let's get back to the real fan out here. I mean, they the other people looked good. They looked like women. Me? I don't know what the fuck to do. It's bullshit. I'm glad they're not hideous. No, I'm glad. 
I'm real happy for them. From Donk. I shouldn't say the name yet, I don't know if it's good. I will continue to post anime until my demands are met. Yeah, I mean, you've already got me offside. <laughs> what? Fine. <laughs> I don't get it. How does squad side work? His side mechanics just don't make any sense at all. <laughs> squad side, it just works. I had to tilt my head to the side. I just cracked my spine to read these moon runes. Because they write sideways. Alright. I'm not going to fake a laugh. I appreciate what you've done here. It didn't make me laugh. But I appreciate what you've done. Okay, a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you. There was no gut reaction. What's this? <laughs> not, not that got a laugh. <laughs> Take a look at this from Thiessen. Someone in Discord wanted a picture of Rooster yelling at aliens, so they panic. <laughs> It's just something about the proportions of Rooster that I really find amusing here. He's like a little frog old man baby. <laughs> the sectoids have got big eyes, they're freaking out, they're like little fat toads. They're like little Lucios in his frog costume. One of them's holding the baby, just running for his life. I like this. <laughs> I really like this. The new MVP is this picture. I enjoy that a lot. Excellent. That's what I'm talking about. Okay? He's on top of the mail. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is what I need in my life. This is why we do fan art. Okay, what's this? What do we got? Alright, I like this already. Oh god. We're lagging out here. I gotta close some of these tabs. We got a few too many tabs open right here. The Mozilla Firefox is freaking out. Hold on. Get all this shit away from me. Mozilla cannot handle more than 10 tabs. It just gets... It gets bad. Okay, here we go. From Dreams of Cheese, a tribute to the most important player of the game, starring BD and the world's most delicious pizza. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Goddamn right. Papa bless. Let's pull it up. Okay, let's pull it up right here. Better ingredients, better pizzas, Papa John's. Here's the first panel. He's eaten the Papa J. He's got his sniper rifle. He's too busy eating the Papa J to shoot. People are taking plasma fire. They're pinned down behind the trucks. <laughs> I hadn't read this panel yet. <laughs> this is exactly what BD's doing the whole mission. All right. Better ingredients, better pizza, better shots, better plays. All right. Maybe the sick dude's freaked out because we're playing so hard right now. One guy isn't even doing anything. They don't know where the sniper is. They're probably freaking out like, the fuck we're gonna get sniped like when I'm in PUBG. I'm gonna get sniped from any angle. They're freaking out. They just can't see BD down behind the car, behind the Dacia with the pizza. Alright. Thanks very much for that, uh, that show of the play of the game there. Thank you very much, Dreams of Cheese. Oh, from Doritos. Doritos has sent one in. This is great, I got sponsorships rolling in everywhere. Send me your sponsorships, alright? Oh, well, this is just... I made this. You didn't make this Doritos. I'm gonna sue you for all the bags of Doritos you're worth, because I made that. That's not even... You just It's just a callback. By advertising Papa John's... Oh, shit! By advertising Papa John's, your Doritos player that they contract with Frito-Lay Incorporated subsidiary of PepsiCo has been voided. I don't know if that was worth it. I didn't know you guys were at war. That's not good. That's not good at all. Alright, I need to make some more money now, so I can buy more Doritos, so let's keep looking at this fan out here. I think I already know what this one's gonna be. From the Twitch chat. Yeah, well, there it is. I knew. I knew what it was gonna be. And there it is. I'm not surprised. And when you're not surprised, you can't be disappointed. Now we're just gonna close that forever. What's this? Oh, holy fuck. Oh, holy fuck! Wow, Taters, you betrayer. Arakasi is giving me some good heads up here. Emphasis on heads. He says, thanks to Tater Tots. Well, Tater Tots. 
Good to know where your loyalties lie. Alright? It's good to know that you think you're not going to time anyone out for pointing out that Beagle's head is the shape of a light bulb. It's good to know, Tater Tots. It's very good to know that. And now we know where our loyalties lie in the mod team. Good. No, real good. Real good. Thank you, Araxi, for pointing that out to me. That I've been stabbed in the back while I'm here putting on a show for all of you to make you all happy. I'm being stabbed in the back right now, alright? Here's a, here's a bright idea for you. Fuck you. Alright? There's a bright idea. What else we got? We got four more of these, and I'm gonna I'm gonna look at all of them. What's this? Mm -mm. No, I ain't doing that. I ain't doing it, Gleely. I can't. I can't do them. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do the quotes. You're just taking things I've said, and then you're profiting from them. I'm gonna go out of business if I show you quotes. I'm gonna skip right past them. Cold blooded. I'm gonna do it. I think that leaves us with one piece of fan art for the day. Okay. We scroll on down, see if there's any more. I think that's it for the day. I think we can finally turn this looping track off, because I think we're almost ready to do the outro. <laughs> Gleely says, I have literally spent 10 combined hours looking for resources to make these quotes look good. Ten hours wasted. Alright. Cold-blooded, I'm sorry. A line's in the sand's been drawn, and if it means war, it means war, my friend. But you're on notice now. The last one. From Dance Commander. Less weeb, more memes. Oh, Jesus. You found that picture. What is... What is going on here? <laughs> I don't even know what the hell you... What's going on? Give me the director's cut. Give me the director's cut of this comic, because I don't know what it's trying to say. All I know is I'm in it with my blonde wig. I have no ear. Who is that? Who is that with the with the thing there? Is that an advent? I don't know what the hell- Send me the director's cut next week, because I don't know what the fuck's going on, alright? I haven't got a clue. Alright, get this off the screen, because it's time to do the outro. Set me up for the outro here. Riovio just sent in... A hundred bits. He said, a little late for the stream, but here's some cheer. Never too late to throw coins at your favorite celebrity monkey and make him dance, alright? Thank you, Ryovio. Thank you very much. Get, get this... Get, get this shit off my screen. Get it off. Okay, good. Good. Okay. We're getting ready for the outro here. The pets have gone off to, like, do pet shit. I don't know what they're doing, so I gotta set up the outro myself. So just imagine that I'm saying something funny. Witty. Clever right now? We both know I'm not. Just pretend. Right now. Because that's what you guys do best. Pretend that I'm both funny and your friend. I think that's very important for all of us right here. Alright? It's very important that you pretend both of those things are true. Because if you ever stop pretending, I mean, if you ever forget, it's gonna be a real bad time. Look, we're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna... <laughs> get, get, get out of here, talk. Fine, come in. Fine, you want to come in for the outro? Oh, dog wants to be here for the outro, fine. Okay. You know, I had a train of thought, I had a joke, but we're just going to go with the dog instead. That's going to do it for today. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for more Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. It's going to be a real fun time. I'm going to kill a lot of people, or the game's still going to be unplayable for my performance and it's going to suck. But we'll make it fun either way, alright? It's going to be a good time. Okay? But for now, that's it for those in XCOM. Another three missions, I'm playing at breakneck pace, I know. It's so fast, you know, nobody else gets this many missions in in one day, I know. You don't have to tell me, but you still can and I'll take the compliment. We'll see you tomorrow for more PUBG and the day after the day after for more PUBG. Calm down, alright, calm down. And we'll see you next week uh, on Wednesday for more, you know, Domino or Nier or something from Jamble. And then on Thursday for another night of Thursday Night XCOM. That's gonna do it for today, and we'll catch you all later. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, dog. Wave goodbye to the people. They paid for you. Don't buy me. Don't buy me. Don't buy daddy. No, no. Okay, wave goodbye. See you later.